Okay, we're live on Twitter. This we cannot play video in this browser. Why does it say that all of a sudden? There it is. It's up. Okay. So now we're in. We're behind the scenes. We are pre-potting right now. Now we're just getting. We're checking the levels. Ooh, got it. <clears throat> we're getting. Uh, we're getting. Re- mm-hmm. Go ahead, caller. So that's what we got. We got Steve here. We got Dan here. We've got Brenton is here. We have Eric here. We are pre-potting. We have Emma here. It's Burbank, California. It's the Festival of Friendship with Stephen Renazizi today and Dan Madonia live from Burbank. So have fun. We'll see where it goes. Have you guys, are you on podcasts quite a bit still? Yes. Yes, I do podcasts often. You do? Yeah. I'm familiar with the, with the format. All right. And then we'll talk about going on the road. Of course. You will talk about whatever. And then we'll talk about how you guys met, what the project you're working on. Can I ask you a question about you're on Twitter right now, live on your Twitter feed? Yeah. So how do you how are you doing? You're using these cameras, so they're seeing the feed that's on that. Yeah, they're that seeing feed. us right now. And going through your computer, or is it, or she's, or Emma's doing it? I'm doing it. Emma's doing it. That's Emma's what, doing what? Making it go through to your Twitter feed. Well, if you call, you know, pressing post. Yeah. The yeah. Make yes, doing it, making it work. That's what I'm saying. Like she's yeah, she doing typed it, yeah. it in. Yes. I mean, I mean, it's not a manual not like, thing. It's no, all once it's up, it's up. Okay, but I'm saying like you didn't come in and do it yourself. Do what? Put set it up like you didn't put your your thing into the thing. The text or <laughs> co- are you talking cords? Physical I, cords? Yes, physical cords. No, no. Okay. I mean, I tr- got my phone plugged in i've got these sort of things but but no it's not like something you had to plug into twitter i I know that sounds really dumb but i'm really trying to learn this stuff right we we did a post we did you you do you tweet during this show is on twitter (laughs) yes and periscope yes we're on platform right so i'm one yes okay we are on my show on facebook so i'm wondering the difference between Twitter, it's like, we, I don't do that either, but I'm wondering if something that you did to, to make it go on Twitter. I just put it on Twitter. I mean, I could do it also on Facebook, Got but it. I do Twitter just because I do Twitter more than Facebook Got for it. some reason. Why is that? Um, Facebook's a little too much for me. Like, there's just too many options, too many things to do there. Twitter's fairly straightforward And there's no... Really, you could do whatever you want on Twitter, right? You could I don't nudity, think there's right? any limitations on Twitter. I just don't... I could easily put it on Facebook, and I should. Mm-hmm. But this is just basically got it. That's my question. Basically, was like why oh, why you chose like I didn't I th- what like why you chose Twitter over Facebook? They don't even have a character limit anymore. Are you saying Facebook Live? Yes. Is that you or me? That could be me. Okay. Uh, and we'll and we'll work on. That's why we're doing a pre pod right now to get these Great. dings at, dings and these questions, questions out, out of the way. way. Yeah, out of the way. Exactly. Pre pod. So right now, live on Facebook. We're li- no, we're live on Twitter. Twitter. I know. We could eventually go to Facebook. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying. Yeah, you may have different things. There might be different rules then. I just get in the. I go down a rabbit hole when people talk about like rabbit hole on YouTube videos. I go through rabbit hole like on old photos and this and that. I'm looking for birthdays. I can. It's social media is a problem. I understand. When you go live, do you say to yourself when you go? I see you go live. Is, do you choose like a platform or when you go live? Is it like I'm going live on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? Everything is seeing it right now. Is it all live straight across all your platforms? It's Twitter. Or do you choose? Certain places, you're like, oh, I'm walking down the street, going to Starbucks. I'll do an Instagram live, or I'll do a this live. Okay, I see what you're saying. I do um, Instagram live occasionally. Okay, like I'll say, okay, I'll do this on Instagram live. I haven't done Instagram live for a while. I've been doing Instagram stories. Okay, mm-hmm. if I'm going to do live streaming out in the public on the street, would probably be Periscope is my first go to, and then I put that on my Twitter. Got it. If I do it, I may just stay on Periscope. Got it. You know, you don't have to. Sometimes I'll just do stuff for my Periscope audiences. Then sometimes I'll do stuff for just the Instagram audiences. You just mix it up. Okay. And then I'm podcasting. So this is going to go on a podcast. This is on the Twitter timeline. This is on Instagram. It's not on Facebook right now. Mm -hmm. Could it be? That's something. That's an Eric question. Yeah. Right now. That could be an Emma thing. answer a question? I don't think we should. Yeah. All right. So... (laughs) We're here. We got this. Let's just, I'll do a two minute monologue. If that, then we'll continue what we just did. Because what we, what we have done on this pre-pod is. Riveting. Yeah. 
I, yeah. I wouldn't say riveting, but people probably enjoy it. Yeah, I they want to hear the back story stuff. Yeah. They want to hear the back stuff. This is premium content. People should be paying. This should this. be on Patreon. Yeah, this is the which pre-pod. is another thing. I'm like learning all about this now. The, the pre-pod Patreon. should be on, on Patreon. Patreon. Yes, this is what I'd pay money for. I would pay money for a Patreon. I'm just throwing it out there for a, a 10 minute, four minute, eight minute Brody Stevens tutorial on athletics, whether it be throwing a baseball or how to run properly. I don't. Well, I have running issues. Doesn't matter. You don't, you don't have to do it, but pelvis. you can. You can help uh, someone else. Maybe. I'll do it. Have us have a guest on. Say Brody, come to Hey, this my is John C. Riley, and I'm with Brody Stevens today, and this is how I run. John, I understand that's how you run. You probably run that way for fifty two years, but you should keep your knees up a little or whatever, how whatever you see in him that would make Let me him tell a you what. Runner. I have and we'll we'll roll into the podcast. We'll roll into it. Sure. Whoa. Oh, wait, you're gonna take out the monologue? I don't I don't want you to take out the monologue. Okay. This is yeah. Well, no, I'm saying I I don't prepared. want to uh, change the format. I just said for your Patreon, that's something I said that I would pay money to watch every. You would yeah. all the time. Really? Every time you put one up, I would watch that. You're a good guy. But Dan Madone. also would be interesting to me. Okay, interesting, and yeah. you're a good guy. I'm interested in producing it. Dan's so. interested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, let's make this happen. All right. So we have the. Let's just uh, make sure we have some. Uh, the sound some. Uh, Oligny, what did you do? Back into my car? S- smoking pot out there? Son of a bitch. Oh, now you're in my car. <laughs> now you're on a bike. Will you sit still? Now you're calling me. Now you're walking. <clears throat> Play games with me. <laughs> you double cocked and farted. <laughs> oh, that made don't me, shoot. <laughs> that made me laugh. Two, three, two. All right, let's go ahead and start and have some fun, and we'll do like a you know whatever an hour, however these things go. Glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Emma is here. I'll look into this camera. How is the they got to get the lighting in here. Are they, they ever going to make a lighting change? They, they need to hang a couple right there and two right there. Do you say that every time? No, but I've been saying it since I've been doing a live podcast for the last six weeks in here, looking at myself at 9 o'clock in the morning <laughs> every Wednesday, staring at myself. Let me see myself. Going, Let me see if yikes. I'm brighter here. Let's look in this shot. See, it's, it's the down light that's no good. Yeah. It's covering up. I might as well just. I like this hat. All right, I'm just going to wear this. It does, you know, it's, it, it doesn't have to be perfect lighting. No. Okay. This is a little bit delayed. Let me go right here. Hold on one second. Give me one second. I have my own little light I should have brought. I should have brought it. Stay with me. Just light yourself. Bro- yeah, it does. It's Brody like, Stevens. For auditions. Because like, you know? most things self-tape now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So at home, you got to make your home into like a little studio. Yeah. So I got like a couple of those lights and shit. <laughs> <I set laughs> it up. Here we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. Are we gonna watch the podcast? Oh well? God! Oh, yeah. <laughs> what sort Just of time the space continuum we're gonna end up in here with Madonna? <laughs> Fuck! Oh man! Hold on, stay with me. I'm not a bad guy. Yeah, I can't. Oh some of the God. some of my stuff is like energy based. You know, it's <laughs> funny. Like if I'm by myself doing it, but when you have. Because we didn't do. Madonna. Fuck. Is this a Kanye uh, record? What's that? <laughs> Sample. Hold on. Stay with me. I'm not Whoa. a bad guy. Stay with me. I'm not a bad guy. I know. I'm, I'm, I can tell. But, dude, I'm losing my mind here. You are? I'm hearing the same I conversation. Can't. Some, of, the, some of my stuff is, like, energy-based. It is. That's what I heard. Like, if I'm by myself doing it. But when you have. Because we didn't do. We didn't do it. Fuck. Is this a Kanye record? Wait. What's that? <laughs> All right, Sample. so it's coming out of here. Are you Reggie Watts? Stay with me. I'm not you a bad got guy. it. I know. I'm not, I can tell, but dude, yeah. I'm losing my mind. You, you are? are? I'm wow. hearing the same I conversation. Can't. Some of the, some I repeat it. You are like twice. It is. You know, that's what I, I acknowledge by myself. You twice. <laughs> but when you have... Because we didn't do... We didn't do it. Is this what it sounds like in your head, Brody? Wait, what's that? What's that? 
This is what I imagine so coming out of here. Are you Reggie Watts? I am yeah. Reggie. You don't talk to me that way. You can tell. Yeah. Is this the moral? Wow. I'm hearing the same I can't. Some of the. I re you are? I'm hearing the same conversation. I can't. Some of the. I repeat it. You are twice. It is. That's what I mean. Twice. All right. Let's get this thing started. What's going on here? There's a car starting. Let's go. I'm having a nervous breakdown. We are going to start the podcast. <laughs> we, that wasn't on the <laughs> podcast? That wasn't the podcast right there? I mean, it's a pre-pod. Pre-pod? We're still pre-podding? <laughs> yes. What, what is this, tantric podcasting where we just pre-pod the entire time? What do we just podcast for the last 10 seconds of this thing? Let's get this. I mean, that was brilliant. Oh, it was? Well, I mean, I've never heard anything like that in my life before. I'm, we were in like, we were having a conversation on a loop over and over and over on different formats through, across social media platforms. All yeah. right. So you understand sound effects theater. You're into it. No, that, that was echo chamber. That uh, was echo chamber. Oh, this that, is sound effects theater. You got it. That was amazing, dude. It was? And I, I liked it and also did not like it yeah. a lot. Wait, you did not like it? I did not like it because I was part of it. But you did like some of it. But then I liked the aspect of I would. But some things you didn't like. Yes. You, you need to make some ASMR, Brody. That's what you need to do. That like. What's low, ASMR? It's like low talking, just sound effects videos. Wait, like that, that new people, Shatner um, album, like the one he of. did the Christmas album he did. Was it? Yeah, from a long time ago. No, we uh, made a new Christmas. It's album. It's freezing. Walking. That's, I'm cold. All right, I'm let's wizard. get this thing going. Here we go. <clears throat> it's confusing on me, but I, I I like that you see the possibilities of echo chamber. Yeah, of going mainstream. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'll go right here. <clears throat> Let's start the podcast. <clears throat> Is this the biggest hurdle every week? The actual stuff. Well, there's a lot of stuff happening right today. You have two guests, friends, cords, connections. Mm -hmm. Here we go. RSS feeds. <clears throat> Let's have a good one. Let's have a good podcast here today in Burbank. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes, you got it. Hello, everybody. It's me, Stephen Brody Stevens, back here again on the Festival of Friendship here for all things comedy in Southern California's San Fernando Valley. And you are listening to a good guy who's back here again with friends doing his stuff. You expect a podcast each and every week, and by golly, that's what I'll do. I will do it. There's things happening in the news. There's, uh, you know, you just keep going. It doesn't matter. There, it's raining outside here, and I am doing the podcast. I could have easily have said, I'm not going to be here today because of the rain. I don't drive well in moisture. But I said, you know what? Let's go do it. Let's have fun. And uh, it's December. It's Christmas time. And I'm excited to do shows. It's teamwork. Um, I, as you know, you're listening to Stephen Brody Stevens, and I don't have any reads to do other than you can follow me on Twitter. Right out of the gate, go on Twitter and check it out. You can see the actual live podcast from when it's happening. Now, am I discombobulated? Yeah, I am right now. I don't know why. I'm not having the focus issues that I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable with focus issues. Those focus issues are not prevalent. And I can tell, like, I have two guests here looking at me right now. Um, <laughs> it's hard to do a monologue when you have two guests right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna cut to it and bail. For me to do a monologue and completely focus on my listeners, the camera, Myself, mostly my listeners. Do you feel like we're judging you? Not really, but I feel, uh, I do feel it. I we do. are. 
Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I'm being judged by my guess. I'm sure, yes, that did creep into my mind. Yeah, we drove out in the rain, too. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Was this a prepared monologue? I mean, it seemed, uh, <laughs> you said it was loosey-goosey, so that's like, you know, kind of a loose style. In the beginning, it seemed very intent, but then it just seemed like you had a... Yeah, because when I, I don't just BS my monologues. I go right, I mean, it, it it's something, to, I'm organic, mm -hmm. I'm pushing, I'm, my, I'm not... It's you know you know how it is like when you have different energies in the room. It's a monologue. It's not it's not meant for three people yeah. to be uh, their energies on. It's my energy and the listener energy or the viewer energy. So you'd them. almost prefer it. We'd almost clear the room. Just but like you're you my do it and then like come in. Probably eventually maybe. Yeah yeah. Do you want do you want, I mean I don't mind leaving if you want to do it if you want to just and I'll there's a window right there I'll stand outside if you want to give me a hand signal. Okay, our guests here. Why don't you give me okay three minutes? Sure. If you have to go shopping or something, go do that. Can I charge my car? You can charge your lot? car. Come back in a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Wait, we'll hours? You just said, you said it, three minutes. Three minutes, like <laughs> ten seconds ago. You said three minutes. Well, you know, three minutes or a couple hours. See, that's what that's I how this city no, no. is. But I, have, I have a feeling that if we did let, let you do the monologue alone, it would just turn into then it would just be echo chamber and sound yeah, effects. Echo chamber, theater. sound effects. <laughs> Calling my mother. Yep. Getting phone calls, receiving text messages, sending out text messages, answering messages on Twitter and Instagram Live. And then Madonia and I would be standing out in the lobby, going, you know, I don't. I mean, <laughs> why why did we come well, in the rain? Festival of friendship. I mean, that's what my podcast was, essentially. Me talking to the camera with no guests. Mm -hmm. Talking to the camera, sound effects theater, calling Eric at home, calling my mother, taking a Skype call, yep. being in the moment, pretty much. And then doing the baseball card game, maybe with Eric or with Aaron, the producer. Mm -hmm. I'll do that later also. So I would do a lot of that. But the monologue... You want to make that a thing, a staple, like a like a rant almost, or your feelings, whatever it is. But you're finding it hard to do when you have guests here. A little bit, but you're yeah. feeling but judged, and you don't want that. I get it. Judged is all. Judged is hold part. On. Wait, hold on. No, okay. you you hold on. Yes, sir. Stephen. Yep. Ren is easy. Dan Madonia. I feel like yes, judgment is coming in, mm -hmm. but it was that wasn't the the main reason was just so I could focus and like it's a podcast. Yeah. That's on Twitter through Periscope with an RSS feed. I mean, yes. that's what we're doing. Yeah. Because I, you know how it is, honestly, like when you do, when you do a podcast, I've been a guest on podcast and they're doing something like when they're doing something, it distracts me. I know. I, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, I was even on a radio show fairly recent and somebody was on like next to me and they're fiddling with, you know, the phone and all that. And it, th it throws me off. Like. Energy matters. Can I ask a question? Sure. So on mine, I have my, uh, me and a guest, but then Brenton will do stuff on the computer and it'll come up on there. Does that bother you? If like you you and I are talking and someone else is doing like sort of the legwork of, you know, of the podcast? Producing. Yeah. Producing. <laughs> no, I don't. So you're saying so, you, you utilize the video screen here yes. because you have the same studio. So, yes. Yeah, so if we're do talking about, you know, the tonight's game and the odds or whatever, while we're looking, I'd be like, well, th the record of them last year, and then he'll pull the record up, and then it'll be up on the screen. So while we're talking about our thing, the point that we're trying to make is our so people can see it. You know what I'm saying? So what, he's got some stuff to do. So But you and I are engaged in a conversation. He's still doing what he's supposed to be doing. Would you? Would that bother you? Would that pull focus for you? Would that make you during a monologue or just in general? In general, like no a podcast. But so the monologue, I think here's what this is just me pitching. What if you started like this? If everyone in that had to be in the room, had to be in the room, but we all were like backs are turned. Yeah, just yeah. that, like this. And then when you, we felt like you were done, like voice style, we just came in like that. And that would be funny. Are. Yeah, funny, yeah, but funny then visually, also, visually, but then you, I feel like you can get in your own sort of vibe if you're just staring at our backs, almost like you would at the store if you were having a conversation. I mean, I've done that before with Eric. I see him over there. Sometimes I said, "Can you get out of my? Can you go in the corner?" Having Eric there is bothering me. Yeah, you know, there you go. <laughs> no, but you, I'm a bit when no, you're I, a comedian. I, no, I can look like we're on stage. I we, saw, I knew what you were doing, and what I was doing was staring at my microphone. But you know, you lower your hat, and you're like, I'll look at the brim of my hat, and that's my monologue focus point, so I can get my point across. Yeah, you saw I me doing look, that. I can't look at people when you're doing it. 
Like I want, I grew up watching, you know, like when you watch the sports radio guys, like Mike and the Mad Dog and those guys and stuff. When they'd be, they would be screaming. When I watch Mad Dog, he's talking to no one, but that's the only way he can do that show is because he screams into the air, into the useless void that is this room. But that's it's, he's talking to his audience. But when there's other people there, it's weird to have another like being being present there. Yeah, feel like, and know, I wouldn't put the, I wouldn't put somebody through that. Yeah, I wouldn't put somebody through my monologue. And also, because the things that you express, you may feel like you're throwing them those opinions on us just because we're complicit by being here. But and more, I'm not saying you you're controversial. But I want to I want to go even beyond the you're talking about. Like you're going deeper issues. I'm just saying the the sheer human body in the room, even yeah. just a movement, just like you're in the eye line. It could throw you off, even when you have the computer screen open, and I'm looking at that. And yeah, because a podcast, you know, you have to make choices. Is it, uh, is, a, is, it is it only audio? Is it video? Mm -hmm. Is it going to play on that? And I have to. I think the more and more, more, and it's they're on video these yeah. days. I mean, if you're going to do a podcast, it's going to be on video. And let me ask: Is the Mark Marin? Let's ask Dan Madonia. Is Mark Marin's? Do you know if Mark Marin's podcast has video? Is there I, a video component? I don't think to it does. WTF. I don't think WTF. I don't think has so, it. and I don't think he needs it. That's yeah. what I'm getting at. I mean, I think there's a bit. If people won't, would be interested, but it's like it's just him and the other guy in the garage. Yeah. But that's where if I was to do a podcast, for example, with say Zach. Yeah. I don't know if you would be into being on live camera. Maybe, maybe not. But I also feel that just doing with the mic in a with nobody around just you him a mic in a living room or a garage or whatever that's that's going to be a great podcast that's absolutely this this sure 100 percent a market for that shafir doesn't use a video aspect to his he doesn't he just does audio that's yeah, it there are plenty of people that just yep. listen to podcasts hear like me this they, book was just a podcast of just audio but i also feel that i need to utilize the I mean, just booking guests and then putting on the different platforms. I need to be social. I need to be more engaging. Uh, engaging. Yeah. yeah. So I might sacrifice a little bit of my zaniness, if you want, or maybe some of my my peculiar 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 peculiarities. Piccadillies. <laughs> peculiar. The thing I would say I would have backed into the things that make me peculiar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> things that make me peculiar. <laughs> Peculiarities. I can't do it either. Peculiarities. But. I need to do this. I mean, that's why, I, and that's not the only reason. I, I, I said, Eric, I said, I need to get guests, not only just to promote it, but just to, pr yes, to promote it, to get it going and get me a little bit out of my comfort zone. Yep. And maybe me being out of my comfort zone, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll thrive. Maybe I'm funnier doing it the mad dog way, just yelling out into the universe. I don't know. I mean, I enjoyed doing the solo podcast and crazy, but mm -hmm. you leave and you feel like, you know, I could probably have a guest. It's like when I have a guest, sometimes I feel like I, you want to go back to solo. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. solo, you want a guest. But that's the thing, though. This is a living thing. It's an organic thing. So you can have a guest this week like you have two. Yep. And next week, if you're like, hey, we don't have a guest or so-and-so got sick and they backed out last minute, I don't have a guest, you know that you have the ability to do it on your own and fill the time and, and have fun with it. And I think that... As long as you're having fun, I think that's probably the audience will then have fun. And then they'll tell you, you know, what works for, what, what, you know, what's working, you know. Maybe. Especially if you're engaging and talking to your audience like you do. So, Dan Madonia, do you have a, a podcast? I don't have a podcast. Oh, my God. You can't. I mean, how could you say that? <laughs> I, pr I produce a, a video cast at the comedy store, the, uh, the, the comedy store tonight starring Argus Hamilton. A and yesterday so, uh, they had Joe Rogan. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How did that go? Dan Madonia, comedy store comedian. Steve Renazizi here, comedy store comedian. I know them both. I've known... Probably at the same amount of time, Steve, a little bit longer. I've known, but definitely like 10, 12. <laughs> I, I mean, that, I that, got a text. Look, I'm, not, I'm not saying like, who do you think people, text? people, who do you think as, as a person throwing <laughs> stones about pulling focus, <laughs> leaving your text message and your phone on, on. I don't have a home button. It, I don't know how to turn on. It was sound. Jeff Richards. It was Jeff too, Richards. By the way, that's he's the a, name that just popped he's up. He's got a new impression. <laughs> When Jeff Richards has a new impression, you get that's notif what that, notifications that's on my phone. That, that's it. Yeah. Is there an app for that just to get that? Or Yeah. 
Notification. He does the sound effects board. <laughs> That's so amazing. Richard. Richard's good guy, mm-hmm. comedy store guy. Yep. So I've known both you and Dan for many years. Very comfortable with you two. It's second nature. This is shorthand. This is <laughs> relaxation. Yeah. And this is a home game. Yeah. It's a home game. You're saying all the right things. My thing is recently. Well, let's go back to. We're going to talk about the Joe Rogan. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Joe Rogan. I heard Argus choked out Rogan. Yeah, that was, was it. Like, buddy, buddy put, I, you, put, you don't put, know shit from Sean Nova about <laughs> jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Choked him right out. I'm right going to show you how a real baby yeah. boomer does it. Fucking Here you go. Dude. And just put him in it. And, yep. yeah. and Joe just tapped out. He tapped he out. Asleep. Yeah, couldn't handle it. How, uh, how uh, I'm sure it went went well. How, how it gives a It overview. went great. Like Joe's obviously a great interview and he knows how to talk and be on a show. And so he knows how to take control in any lull as well. So... It was a great show from start to finish. Yeah. Is it the kind of show that's just going to bring more viewers to the next one? Or is that it? Like, I did Rogan. I'm going to leave on a high note. I'm out. According to the Facebook comments, there are people that are like, now we're subscribing to this show. That's we good. didn't know. And he definitely opened it, us up to a larger audience when we went live. Because the show, the show is live. It's from the Comedy Store's Facebook. It's a Facebook live show. Um and, and then we release it on YouTube afterwards. Um, but in that that show, we have sorry, Dan. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that, Dan. How I do I turn the, the of... How do I turn them off? Can I just Can I make a suggestion? Just turn your bringer to <laughs> silent, okay. and then you'll get the things without the actual bing. All right. Wow. <laughs> and then we'll see. Are the you Jeff uh, Richards are you part of the greatest group. generation too? Does <laughs> not know how to turn my phone on yeah. silent. Yeah. Well, I, I who doesn't get a little nervous with the the iPhones, like you'll set the alarm and I go, Me? I don't know. Is it going to go off or go? I'm not 100% sure. Is it? Is that orange? My, my alarms, when I've set it, has never. Not, the only time it's gone, not gone off is because I set it to PM instead of AM or something like yep. that. So I, you're, you're, you're both comfortable with the iPhone alarm system. Absolutely. absolutely. Really? <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. I mean, I what s- am I going to do? I mean, what, I, I, don't, I don't have a... Any other way. I mean, I got kids, so it's like I wake up whatever time they wake up. So what happens if you set the alarm on the iPhone and it's not on vibrate and it is volume, but the volume is maybe, I mean, you're listen, let's say you're listening to radio. You go, okay, I'm in the bed. night before you're sleep- and you have it on low, like three bars. Yeah. Yeah. You're listening to radio and you fall asleep to it. Well, I have to say, I don't know. I mean, you, you see what I'm, I'm a, saying? I'm, I'm a person that like, if I know I have to wake up, I'm probably going to wake up around that time anyway. Just or, natural body. Yeah, like my thing, my body just knows, like, it'll be attuned around that time to hear, like, the Correct. Bling, bling, you know, whatever that, that that's, you know. Usually. Sound. I would say you can rely on your internal body alarm clock 98, 99% of the time. Kind of, yeah. But there's oh, that one time. If you're hammered, they're like, you know, like, if, if you get drunk or whatever, it's like, sorry. We, yeah, we we went right through that. So you you like the I, I like the new iPhone. I'm on the I have you the most the new, oh, I have the, the most, new one. I have the most modern iPhone. Yeah, and I'm not a guy who always gets the top the brand new thing. I just decided to get it because my battery was draining. Which model did you have before this? Did you have this one? This I had a rotary, <laughs> iPhone rotary, <laughs> iPhone R rotary. IPhone the phone, my, yeah, my last iPhone or the, I still have it, but. The battery it was going from like eighty to sixty to twenty, like like that, mm, just yep. going down. It was affecting my periscopes. It was affecting my mood. And then it was clunky. Okay, that's a larger issue than Apple, but um, <laughs> there was clunky. And yeah, there's only a, you can only do like a thousand times the battery. Those things you can only plug that thing in a thousand times. But even on Instagram, it was trying to do certain Instagram stories. And it was just going in between different apps. It became clunky. So then I got the new phone. I went in there. I played with it. And I didn't believe it when they said, oh, it'll be smoother. It's faster. You always hear people say, like, the processing. Oh, yeah, it's faster. But then when I got it, it was definitely faster, for sure. Mm -hmm. Number two, more memory. Yes, because this has 256 gigabytes of memory. What are you saving on your phone? Photos, voice memos. Everything, really? everything now. <laughs> Ho- me- mental hoarding. hoarding. <laughs> no, but it's. I, I don't take. I, I go through my photos like every few days. I'll just delete photos that are not. Yeah, not I delete gonna, so but, many photos. But now I have two hundred. Oh. I'm not even a quarter of my memory is. It's not. It's not even an issue. Got it. So my memory's not an issue. My battery's not an issue, 
and it does move faster between apps and it's smoother. And I think, you know, my Instagram stories are better. The camera's clear. Mm -hmm. It's a better camera. So again, I'm not an iPhone guy or like, oh, we got to get the brand, the, 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 the newest thing. But I did. And I'm glad I got it. Do you have one of those things that you carry around like Kevin Nealon does that like um, stick? The stylus? Kind of like, the, well, yeah, you could be able to like, take video of yourself. Like a, a selfie, selfie stick? Yeah, like a, but it's, yeah, but for, for your, like, but for video. A selfie sticks? It's selfie stick. Yeah. I yeah. Didn't. What do you mean? <laughs> but I mean, like, I, I think he has a, more of a high end one. It's got like, it's, uh, I don't have a it's high a end nice one. nice selfie stick? I don't know. Like, it goes on like a tripod like this and like it, 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 it like balances itself. So oh, it's got the balance. Oh, oh I don't know. What the you can get it on the Wish app. So you're talking about like a steady cam. Yeah, whatever. I know. I'm, I, I'm asking you if you have any version of that. I have a. Okay. You I can put your hand down. I a have a. <laughs> I have a selfie stick. All right. A hard core selfie stick that's made for like Jesus. outdoor being out my selfie stick is from alaska it extends okay there's earthquakes where my selfie stick was made wow so it has to be strong to hold up a building to hit somebody <laughs> to do an upskirt video <laughs> whatever that it's a durable selfie stick Obviously. i don't i don't need bluetooth click buttons on my selfie stick i don't if i'm plugging in things on a cell i want a, just a simple metal and hard plastic selfie stick and that's yep. what I use. So you're saying Neilan has, yeah, I feel like They're he's gimbals. Gimbals, yeah. Gimbals. Didn't gimbals. Ari have a couple of those? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> he had a, 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 so, his, yeah. So they're called gimbals? Yeah. What, uh, it's Eric over there. What is a gimbal? It's a selfie stick stabilizer. It stabilizes the phone. Why don't we get one? How much are they? $100. Put it on Amazon. Whoa! On the wish you want to play games with yeah. me, Kevin Nealon? Whoa! Is that what he does? Are you he calling do, him out? Well, does he do his? <laughs> uh, he's got that hikes with Kevin. Yeah, podcast. it's a very popular show. Does he do it with that gimbal? I mean, he does it now with drones too. I think he's got drone Whoa. shots and stuff. You should get drones for this podcast. I mean, you definitely need a drone. How does he in here. do it? Yeah. Does he have? You should have a drone for you this. In this room, you need a drone. Wait, Kevin does has. Kevin set up the drones himself, <laughs> or does he have crew and people helping him? I mean, Kevin knows what he's doing. I think yeah. he's operating. He was like any any real comedian trolls. knows what they're doing on their own. They don't need any help or anything like that. You can set up. Who's operating the drones? He Kevin he takes and the care gimbal of it. and yeah. the gimbal. Yeah, and he's so he's, he's got the high drones. Yeah, and to be honest with you, he's not the first guy. Going back to the even the two thousands, remember Dice used to carry around the the camera. We used yeah. to film with him, and the, I had the the tripod with the fucking <laughs> with the stick. We used to go on hikes and shit, Runyon Canyon. I and made it the, to the top. Come I on. kicked the stump. I, I, I have come to film on. him going backwards holding the <laughs> tripod while we're hiking Runyon Canyon. So Very Dice real. was already doing a hiking with Dice. Forever. Well, no, the, we were filming his. This is everything. for his show, yeah. <laughs> but we hap we happen to be hiking. But, yeah, I think Kevin knows what he's doing. But you should get a drone. You definitely could use a drone in here. A, in here? In two here. drones. How much are drones? A couple hundred yeah. bucks. And you put a camera on it? Some you can put a gimbal on them. Yeah. So it stabilizes it. All right. It's a mood stabilizer? Mm, not for you. We'll give, get, me a, give me a break. Don't talk to me that way. We'll get you a salt I'm Sorry rock about too. that. I got aggressive. We'll put that on the Amazon too. All right. So the gimbal sounds cool. Kevin Nealon. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Talking about Kevin Nealon doing the hiking, and I know it's a popular yep. podcast or video, whatever it is. I've heard it's popular. David Spade did it. Ooh. And then I was up this morning. and got up early. Not early, but I was in bed. And I saw that the, the show on NBC got renewed. Season four of The Good Place. That girl, Megan Amram, you know her? Yeah. She's on the show. Mm -hmm. I just saw it on Twitter. Got renewed. Woo! Everyone's happy. Then I see the Pete Holmes thing. Season three coming up. Check me out. Going to Portland, taping my hour. And I'm thinking, like, I fell into the trap of comparing. Yep. I fell into the trap of of look at look at them they're doing great i'm not i'm not in crashing oh Brody. there's already there's robert kelly do you feel bad about there's that sarah silverman do you feel there's bad Jermaine. about that no, when I, you just I'm said not, kevin just... nealon has that hiking show do you know what the first thing i thought was nick kroll's been on that show oh you did oh. first thing i thought of i'm sorry it's okay it's a natural feeling dude it's okay so you that so when i said the nealon podcast the hiking For, podcast. First thing I thought of, you were like, so and so, Spade's been on that show. I was like, Kroll's been on that show, which is great. 
But like, but I'm friends. You, I, I'm friends with Spade. My I'm rela- friends with Kroll, and I'm happy for them. So I'm happy for Spade. Exactly. But again, you go to immediately. You say to yourself, "Well, you know, like, well, you're talking. I'd about love to dr- do that show. Yeah, but I don't know how to do drones and gimbals. That's <laughs> that's the Kevin the Kevin Nealon. I can go hike. You want me to hike? I'll hike. <laughs> but it's it's the it's the gimbals and drones that got to me. Mm-hmm. That's what got to me. The gimbals and drones. When I saw the Pete Holmes crashing season three coming out deal, all the people in it. And I felt like I'm not in that world. And maybe it's because I'm too out there. I'm not down with the cause necessarily, possibly who knows that kind of, and then I saw the, the, uh, that Megan, the good, the good life. What is that called? The good life get picked up. So I was basically there, they're set. Things are going great. Don't have to worry. Well, I'm scratching and clawing scratching to get and by. You're, oh, yeah. You're right here with us right yeah, now. Yeah, but scratching like, and clawing is fun. I know what you're saying. And again. I, I mean, it's not fun when you're in it, but it's kind of fun. It makes it like it makes for what you do. Like everything I've ever gotten has been out of the scratching and clawing. Yeah. It's never been during a relaxing time. That's where I've always really? been the most creative. And that's where I've gotten everything I've ever gotten is during scratching and clawing if you're at rest and you're relaxed you're not creating not in I, your best well mind. i scratch and claw it's called eczema <laughs> well it's, I, I scra- it itches. lotion works I, well i understand it's but sometimes you could easily say for me like when i was doing when i had a job when i had a regular when I was doing audience warm up and I had that job and I that schedule and I know I could like for me personally to go in there I had the parameters I I knew what I was doing and I had that kind of structure the fact now that I don't have the structure and then also I'm support system mm-hmm. there's just a lot of variables that come into play like yeah maybe some people can handle the scratching and clawing I I do my best work and then others might go it just puts me, I start doubting myself exactly. even more. And I feel the stress. Like I got, it's like for me, I, yeah, I feel the, the stress. same way, dude. I was on the league for seven years. I had the structure of how my year worked, how my days worked, this and that. And then that ends and you're like, all right, now I run my own sort of life, my own business. So it's like, but I like having like a thing to go to, a job to go to, a podcast to go to. Every week, every Wednesday, I'm going to go do this. I like having that sort of structure structure around me. So yes, there is a, there is an aspect to scratching and clawing that's like makes you nervous because you're like, well, I have to create my own structure or find my own structure. But that is sort of the 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 goal and the benefit to it as well as that you get to create your own thing and work on the stuff that you want to work on and not necessarily stuff that you now are obligated to work on. But here's the other thing. I'm getting older. I'm 48. I'm not 38. I'm not 28. I'm not 18. Mm-hmm. I'm 48. And How old are you? I mentioned I was 48. Okay. Uh-huh. So sometimes I feel like, because I'm energy based, sometimes I'll go to the comedy store and I feel like you could feel like you just don't have, you know, when you have heat on you, you walk in and you feel it. Yeah. I would say the last year or so I go to the comedy store and I feel kind of, I don't have it. I feel, I feel like, oh, I'm not a part of it. Even though I am, I, know. I mean, mm-hmm. I get my spots, two to three spots at night. I can always goof around with Don, the comedy store. There's a place for you. There's a place for me there, but sometimes it doesn't I, feel special anymore. Um, I wouldn't say special, but sometimes you can feel like you don't have that heat on you. Sometimes mm-hmm. you feel like that's that's more of that comparison, though. You're like, right. Yeah, you're looking at other people and trying to judge their heat, but it's but it's not even. It's just you're going there. You don't feel like even like walking through that hallway. You see everyone talking. To, everyone's talking. You walk by. It's like you're not even acknowledged. Yeah, and and that's you it goes through my it goes through your head sometimes sometimes it happens but you gotta like at the same time realize that we're all comics and we're all in our heads too and sometimes you, you don't feel that see hundred and you do 150 <laughs> percent brody a hun- i was gonna say i'm like i hope you don't feel like you're the only one that feels yeah. this way <laughs> oh really i thought 150 it was 150 percent man so many times you go through there and you're like, man, everyone right now is looking at me and I can't believe they're not even looking at. Well, me. no, I'm saying what I'm <laughs> saying is there are times when you walk through there when when the hangover came out and you say to yourself, I bet you during those times you weren't like, man, everyone does. I deserve everyone to be looking at me. You're probably like, holy shit, I can't believe this is going on. 
So that's no. how you feel that end, that end of the spectrum. It's the same way you feel when you walk down and you feel like nobody's looking at you. You're like, oh man, I feel like I'm not, wor- I'm not, I'm not good enough, or I'm not doing something that's getting people's attention, or uh, you know, I'm not good enough at this anymore. So that it's the same thing. You you feel. You don't feel when you get it, you don't feel like you deserve it. And the other way is you feel like you're not doing enough to hang in there. You know what I'm saying? So you never you're never winning. You gotta find that spot where you're like, okay, I'm good and I feel okay with myself. Right. And from every comic I've ever met, it's everybody's feeling yeah. that way. Like literally at every single level. Like they they've all got those insecurities. You, you and know, you like think it's if you what's gonna up be the next thing. Dice like, to a lie detector test and said he didn't you know, going in there in nineteen ninety two felt differently than going in there in two thousand and three. You yeah. know? Or Eddie Griffin or you know or or Joe Rogan or I, anybody else I that don't, had like, you know, ups and downs there. Look Dom I, Herrera. I, yeah. Here here's when all, we all came in there and it was like, who the fuck's Dom? Like, people were like, you know, and we all had to t- remind people, like, hey, don't, you know, Dom Herrera is a fucking legendary comic. But you're, people were talking ill of, of Dom no, but Herrera. You know what I'm saying? Every generation has like a thing where you would look up there and you'd see like, even now, when people are like, who the fuck's Argus Hamilton? You're yeah, like, who, all the, right. who is that guy? Yeah, no, I understand. Yep. And you look at it, you go, you, you've never seen his Twitter handle or you've never right. seen him anything. But, you know, you, look, for 15 minutes, this is something different that you're going to enjoy. That you've not seen before, you probably won't see, and this is sort of the last sort of one of the last people doing this kind of style of comedy. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. You feel those people are probably felt marginalized as well in their own time. Okay. Yeah. I I feel okay. I feel it, but I also I think it's tied in to a little bit of maybe older, still living in L.A riding that comedy store wave and then on top of it i don't want to get political i feel like the there's a lot of political still that comes into play on certain things meaning your if you are say um like an i'm I'm not like down with the cause necessarily on things you're saying a way to a connection that most people feel an easy way to get in or start a conversation is to kind of jump into a political side, you know, shitting on obviously the, you know, the conservative side of the aisle. And it's an easy way to get into a conversation and you don't necessarily want to do that. Is that what I'm getting at here? Is that what you're getting at? I mean, no, um, I mean, I can't, I can't quite pinpoint it. I, I think just a combination of just getting a little older, being around, living in town for 20 years or whatever, and that sort of thing. And I ha- and here's the other thing. I had a chance. Like, I had my show. You know, i had not saying I, I had my chance, but mm-hmm. I had a show, and now I'm building something up again, whatever that is. And I don't even know if I, I have it. I just don't. I'm saying, like, me personally, I'm, I, 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 sometimes I don't have that motivation. It's, like a, it's, it's more of a grind as opposed to, like, I want to go there and drum and, and do that and act crazy and – put out this crazy energy now i feel like a more a job mellow got feel it. like a more i'm flat got but it. that's part of me being here's the other thing part of me not being on my medication and being more so being more natural mm-hmm. you know i'm not taking lexapro i don't have that coursing through my veins i don't have the lamictal as a mood stabilizer as a safety net in case i you know do something or I and don't, these are all good things right the medications being off of them. Yeah, I'm. I'll tell you what. I'll. T- I feel definitely more like myself. See, mm-hmm. Being off Lexapro, and we'll say Lamictal and Clonopin as needed, which I really didn't take all that much of. I do feel like my old self. I feel like Brody from high school. Brody from Arizona State. But Brody from high school didn't do stand up. Brody from Arizona State didn't do stand up. Brody. You know, I did stand up a couple times in Seattle, and I just didn't feel good. It's like I'm I'm still getting laughs. I'm doing well. I mean, I'm working. I'm opening up. I'm doing the Ian yeah, Edwards you're a pro. thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm going on the road to Spade. I, I get to do that. I have I do have some opportunities, but I just feel like my 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 old self. I feel kind of flat footed, and but I have to. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And it, do I have to do I have to exercise and get those endorphins? Do I need a dog? Do I need a hobby? But what I've been doing is doing more of the podcast, booking the guests, getting them in, making that effort to be more, you know, mm-hmm. socializing to 
because it's not easy. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like my my old self, and I think I mean I do feel like my old old self. And then you factor in the the political climate a little bit. People are just stressed with that. It's handling those handling that a little bit, and that's where I'm at. You're looking at me like no. I'm, I'm going in circles here. No, I understand what you're saying in the sense that um, doubting yourself yes. because you are in a new sort of headspace mm -hmm. because it's unfamiliar to you. Yeah, I don't have the fuel in me. I feel like it's even affecting my speaking a little bit or I think it's affecting my speaking. It could be. It you might just be more present. And that's why you think it's affecting your speaking. That's, you know, I think you're right. Yeah. I'm probably like more. And I'm. And here's the thing. I'm getting laughs. Mm -hmm. I have my jokes. And actually, because I'm more present and I don't have that that river of of SSRIs, people are like connected to me. You're you're there's no there's no river connect between us. You come to me. So the audiences are liking me, even though I don't feel it. But I, I it's like when I was in Seattle, when I started in Seattle, I'd go up there. I tell my jokes. They wouldn't laugh. And I go, you I'm this hurts. I should be getting laughs. And then they would laugh. And so they would laugh at mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And then I'd come off the stage and go, oh, yeah, you were funny. It was great. But it was like it didn't feel good. Yeah. I didn't feel good, but I got laughs. Because it's it's always great to, like, bring the audience to your level. Like, it's easy it like it's easy to, like, laugh and joke with your friends when you're getting high and stuff like that. Like, you're all on the same level. But, mm -hmm. like, like, with me, with marijuana and stuff, like, if I'm getting high on stage and then I go out on stage and I'm high, I'm on a different level than the audience is, like, and I'm presenting a different thing. So we're, there's actually a disconnect there yeah. that, that isn't, that doesn't need to be there. Like we can connect and then I can get high later. That's fine. Yeah. But, but you feel that on stage now, do you like, feel that disconnect? Is that what you're saying? But with the audience? No, I feel the connection with the audience okay. more because I'm not, not on that Lexapro, which gave me that little buffer, that little boost that like puts you in a good mood. Now I feel like it's almost cheating, almost cheating. You took the weights off the bat is what happened. You've, you've been, you've been going in there with the Lexapro and everything. And you, 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 you've been taking them practice swings and now you've, you're going up on stage with a clear head. You've got the weights off the bat and you can really swing for the fences. I feel it's like the opposite. Actually. Really? I feel like when I have the Lexapro, it takes the weight off and now I'm swinging. Like I'm going for it. I'm, I'm having a good time. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling it. Yes. With the Lexapro, but it's kind of now I, but my, but when I stop, when I cut back on it, I did my, I, my body feels better. My, That's I am, what I'm, wondering, I'm yeah. more focused, but I don't have that yet. Did you, did you that, work, that, with a, work with a doctor to, to get off this stuff? Yeah. You, yes. You said that. Steven, <laughs> well, I mean, here's the deal. I never, I, first of all, you don't, I, my lesson that I learned from medications, mm -hmm. don't stop cold turkey. Okay. Okay. We've yep. been down that road before. We have. Yeah. Okay. We, <laughs> we all have. Yes. Twitter, you guys, you were so there. So this was not me going cold turkey. This was me tapering off very slowly, being an av advocate for myself, because I also know that I never took medications in high school. I never took medications when I played baseball. I didn't start taking a, like a medication until I went to Seattle because, I, like I said, I would perform and it would not feel good. It would, even though I was getting laughs, it didn't feel good. And then, and then, when I started, when I looked into something to take the edge off, which was Luvox, mm -hmm. which turned, which developed into Celexa, which is now Lexapro. That was the kind of. Well, Selexa was Lexapro, but Luvox is the heavier version of Selexa. Anyway, it evolved. Like Pokemon. it evolves, yeah. yes. So and herpes. <laughs> I'm not saying it was like cheating, but maybe it was. And then I got rid of the Lexapro. I got rid of that. Now I feel like how well, you know you have normal sadness. You have, yeah, but you can get, I ask like when you get? I just know like when you said when we went down this road before. Like the last time was sort of a cold turkey thing. I don't want to trigger. I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to see I'm anybody just saying, get drop like, kicked I'm in the chest. I'm a little worried that your own di WebMD dia diagnosis of the situation. I know my body. I understand. And that 
Of course you do. I'm not doubting that you do. I just feel like there is, an, you know, like we know there's a certain way. Doctors, I feel like, have a certain way of, of, of helping people like slowly say, I don't, I don't feel like if you went to your doctor and said, I want to be off this medication, that they would say to you, hey, I'm going to stop you and I'm going to continue to make you take it. Yeah. I th- no, they would not. They would help you get off the medication. I've been off it for five months. This is not like, oh, a, a week and I'm doing great. Yeah. This has been, I think it's out of my body. No, I'm sure it is. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know how long. I think what? that stuff stays in there for a while. How long? I don't know. Six months? I, may, I don't know. Again, I know weed stays in your body for about 40 days. Okay. And it, if I smoked weed every day for 10 days, I'd probably say it was hanging around for a while. I don't know. But it's, you know, again. I'm not sure. Look, and I, I'm, I'm I'm just worried that you don't be worried. Okay, but go ahead. Then <laughs> the next thing I want but to Steve, say. But Steve, when I had when I had uh, when I had any of my issues back then, no, it was from yep. stopping cold, cold turkey. turkey. Yes. No, they, they didn't what, say. So they didn't you, say. You kind of weaned yourself off this time. You were like, I'm going to slowly taper myself down. Now, have yes. You, are yes. you? You've been completely off for, for a, five months. Yeah. I'm like fine. You, the the taper off system, yes. like was pre five months ago. Yes, and you and you and but uh, why I, why do I feel like I'm being in- no, no no interrogated no. here? <laughs> no, not at all. I just want I'm trying to get it. Where's okay. the picture? Okay. Like you know, so like we know like it was not like you started tapering five months ago and you like you took your last pill three days ago and like we're we're about to see what happens. That's <laughs> that's we're, you know like, we're um, painting the picture. Yeah. <laughs> no, but. No, this is this has been slow. This has been okay, you know. And I never had, like I said, I feel like my old self. And my old self was not somebody like Brody. You, this guy, this kid needs to be on meds. He's lashing out. He's. I didn't get into. I got into fights in high school, but you know, typical normal fights. Mm-hmm. And I played baseball. It was doing comedy, is what you know. Public speaking. Uh, I am. I'm very self conscious. I can feel it. Really. Yeah, you don't think so? No, I thought you just kept your beard like that. Because my beard's no, it's shaped. Fine. No, it's fine. It's not shaped enough. Now you want me to go? No, it worry looks about that. Looks no, it looks great. Covers well, the scar. What if the what makes all like major beer hair like look nicer? This let's not. The, my beard's not an issue. <laughs> Why are you making my beard an issue right not. now? Not. Or my eyebrows, or all that stuff. I wouldn't mention the eyebrows. Okay, so you did. Or my hairline, or whatever it is. Can't see that because I'm mean, wearing a hat. Oh, because I don't have one, or because I'm wearing a hat. Both. <laughs> all I'm getting at is, is like being being off the medication. I just feel like more. I'm getting used to it. That's all. It takes months, and I'm trying. And part of it is booking the podcast, having structure, mm-hmm. writing jokes. Seems good to me. You know, I'm fine. I never had road rage issues. I was not that kind of guy. When you're, but we also have to look at you're doing audience warm up. Those three thousand audience warm ups. That's a hard gig. Being a comedian is a hard gig. Hanging out at the comedy store late at night is a hard gig. Can I ask you? Do you so find- I had these all those things that are not for normal people to deal with. Yep. And so for me to act out on that was is like, hey, look at this guy. It's not like I was, I mean, I was yelling at people at Starbucks, but they was related to. It was a little more than that. You know, Who I mean, else did I yell at? Uh, people in parking lots. Yeah, parking lots. I was, I was witnessing lot something. Let's not yeah. get into at that. At the comedy thing. store? Can gladiator I ask you? Gladiator kicks. The guy, gladiator was that guy, <laughs> were you there? I was there. Nope, I okay. was not there. <laughs> was that guy drunk that he, I kicked? Yeah, probably. Yes. Good right. enough. He was drunk. End of discussion. Well, I don't know what that uh, means. Yeah. Because that he mean? was drunk and he was coming drunk towards people, me. You can, he, I didn't realize you can kick drunk people. He was, ju- he was not coming Did you coming know that St. Patrick's you? Day is <laughs> official <laughs> kicking drunk? You, just walk you can down just the street. kick anybody. If you decide on St. Patrick's Day to be sober, you can just kick any fucking drunk person That's you want. Rule. Don't if you, you know that? If you're wearing, green, wearing green, you get pinched. If you don't Curb wear stomp green. a drunk person <laughs> on St. Patrick's Day. All I know is at the comedy store that night when I front kicked the guy in the parking lot. This was gladiator kick. This was after. Like, this is Sparta <laughs> foot in the center of his chest. I mean, and this was step one, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, this, this is like creepy. when we knew. Then it got We're like, way Whoa. worse, Brody. Way, way worse. Now, I'm not trying to bring anything I up. let it get worse. No. You want to you play games with me? That's no, what I said. No, no, no. no, no. That's exactly, games. again, what we are everyone 
is trying to, to avoid. avoid. Yeah. And we don't want you. What we mostly want to avoid is you thinking anyone's playing games with you because nobody's playing games with you. My only concern is this. What I'll go back to my question. Do you feel because uh, – do you find it different hanging out when you're not on stage at the comedy store or in like comedy places, wherever you hang out comedically wise? Is that different now because you're off the meds? Um, a little flatter. Feels – yeah, a little flatter. Uh, but I'm, I'm more like, – like Dan said, I'm more present. I'm a good listener. I'm a, I feel like my old self. I feel okay. like Brody at Arizona State, Brody at Reseda, Brody growing up in Tarzana. That's what I feel like. But that Brody wasn't a stand-up. That Brody wasn't an audience warm-up guy. That Brody wasn't doing late-night crazy spots with Don Barrett. I know it sounds crazy, but I would say you should talk to, like, a sober person that performs. You know, like, uh, when there's a million of them, but... Because, you know, like they say, I guess with drugs and stuff, it's like people feel like they don't want to quit because they're not going to be as funny or as talented or as whatever music musically inclined. And so, you know, it kind of is another thing that keeps. I mean, I think these I think people think I'm funny. I'm not saying like, yeah, I'm yeah, up there. Do. But do you think you're funny? But do I feel that I'm funny? Yes. up there? I don't know. Sometimes okay. or at least I'm off stage thinking about it. I don't know. Well, it's because it's a whole sort of new version of you so right you're, you got to get used to that guy yeah and it takes were, it takes a while i think it takes a it's gonna take me going up and grinding it out and and and, and carving these these in my brain like yeah. getting getting those reps in yeah as a comedian are you writing more not necessarily <laughs> yeah i know am i supposed to i, I know <laughs> what are you gonna write about right now brody i could so you're you're very lucky why because you are one of a handful of people that I could watch you do the phone book, do your old jokes, any joke you wanted to do, I could watch you do it a hundred times. I'm lucky. Very I know lucky. I, I know I'm lucky. Very lucky. You, Bobby Lee, there's only a few people that I can, Holtzman. But you know what? You go on the road. I was just recently in West Palm Beach mm -hmm. this past weekend with David Spade and these improvs, and it was packed huge. in there. That place is mm -hmm. huge. And it was hard to get momentum. It was hard, and then I would do crowd work. Where are you from? What do you do? I'm from Pennsylvania. Okay. What's going on there? I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I get into that. When you, here's the other thing. When you get in that panic mode, then it's hard to be, it's hard to remember. I'm repeating jokes. I'm not, that's what I'm saying. Like, when your back's against the wall, you were saying, like, well, I'm back's against the wall, and I'm scratching and crawling. That's when I come up with the good stuff. But when you're on stage and you're in that panic mode, it's hard to mm -hmm. yep. access your jokes, that Rolodex of jokes, and it's hard to – your heart rate's going up, and it's hard to do that crowd work. You're not comfortable. Yeah. So I feel that – again, that's normal. But for me to do those 3,000 warm-ups, for me to do those crazy late-night spots or whatever – feel normal. I almost maybe I needed. I'm not saying I needed that Lexapro, but that probably helped me Matt, a little I bit. I feel like you maybe you just worked your muscle memory to a point under that cloud, like in you, and now you're getting used to a different yeah. way of seeing it, and and nobody else is seeing it in a different way, but you, right, like you're the only one who's seeing it in a different way. You were you were using glasses for years and years and years, and now you have LASIK. Is this an intervention? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit, no. But it's something. It's see. just. It's something. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, yeah, you guys are all. You're all right with that. And I gotta. I gotta get used to that. And then you have. Again, you're getting older. Uh, Do your I, sexual organs work better? Not really. They don't work at all. They work. For pain? what organs? What other <laughs> organs are there? There's like one. You have an anus, right? If you want to go there. I mean, <laughs> is that an invitation? <laughs> no. <laughs> if, if you want to go there. Do you feel? That like you're, do you do you uh, well here's another thing do you feel like any aspects about your sexuality have changed since your newfound clarity or no 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 I'm I I'm a that's the other thing still sixty forty sixty forty what <laughs> because I said the ten percent gay thing is that what you're talking about <laughs> I thought it was sixty forty what's that sixty straight forty gay no the other what? way sixty gay forty straight <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> it's what? very progressive I never was that's my thing like people say oh um. I think if, it's like, to me, gay would be you're sitting at Starbucks, you see a guy, and you go, I, I want to be with him. Yep. I want to okay. be but with him. How are you? I don't know. Go rub to the it, movies? Rub his cheeks. What? What's what? his cheeks? His face cheeks or butt cheeks? Face. 
face, face cheeks. cheeks or whatever. <laughs> I think that's gayer. I think that's. Um, I think. I think. <laughs> I, I, think I think anyone that says that like my version of being gay is sitting at a Starbucks looking at a man saying I want to rub his face cheeks is probably the gayest thing that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty gay. That's probably yeah. the gay. <laughs> I would say that. Yeah, you could probably have your own float. So I'm not doing in the that. West Hollywood parade. That to me, that's what gay is. Yes, exactly. When and you're that, at that, Starbucks and you see a guy, and that's the gayest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Other gay guys are like, "Hey, I, I want to blow that guy or whatever," but you're like, "I want to rub that man's cheeks, his face cheeks." That's sensual. That's like I'm <laughs> yearning for some sort of connection with, obviously, another <laughs> alpha male. But I don't like another. So I'd go to a movie with you. But exactly. I have no, I have no like sexual. That's the thing. Like people give. I think I goofed up when mm -hmm. I said I didn't goof up. I opened a can of worms. I said when, the ten percent gay. Yeah. Because if you're on, you can look at something. You can go on the internet and look at stuff that you wouldldn't look at before. Like and you go, oh, it's interesting. Or like, it, yeah. just like the way things are these days. Just being open minded and you go, I can. Play. Even actors do it. I don't think I could do it. Being like in a like a Jake Gyllenhaal movie or what do they do? The Brokeback Mountain. I that's <laughs> is this is that Jake? I think that's my bank. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick it up. I mean, I know that I'm not. No, look, I'm I'm a. Here's the thing. I'm just a Jewish I'm not kid. You are. I'm yeah. a Jewish. No, there's no that's Jewish all kid. I, I am. Think, no, there's but, no gay Jewish kids. No. Billy Eichner's not gay. But no. Oh, don't play those games with me. I'm just saying I'm, you're not making a point. I'm I'm gonna make a point. Okay. I'm just a typical blue collar, goofy. Jewish kid, not even that goofy. Because if I was, if I didn't play baseball, I probably should have just gone to Hebrew school. If I was just in Hebrew school, private school, protected into that world, I probably would have been fine. But the fact that I played baseball, my parents were divorced, I was pretty much raised on a prison yard. So people weren't used to how I was. Mm -hmm. So they could take it. And I was a nice guy. Yeah. I got, as a kid, you don't understand. I don't think anybody understands. And I also feel that this also shapes my current viewpoint on on growing up or th how things are today. Because Which is? I because I went I didn't go. To, I'm Jewish, as I mentioned, born oh. Jewish, raised Gemini. I wasn't in the private schools. I wasn't in the Hebrew school. I went to school in Reseda, home of the Karate Kid, with Latino guys, black guys, white girls. Persian people, everything. So I saw people's, how people were. And I was a nice kid. And I got picked on for being nice. I got picked on for smiling. They would call me gay for smiling. That's what I went through as a kid. I got picked on, they call me like, one, and I, gay for smile, gay boy. Was it after you blew a guy and you smiled? Never, no, see, okay. see, 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 see. You're just like you're just like you're falling in the I'm trap, or just like everybody context, else, Brody. That's all I'm. Yeah, trying I'm to trying do. to be serious okay. here. I'm trying to be serious. I'm okay. Two minutes ago, he said, "Oh, I think you should talk to a doctor. Are you doing okay?" And then he starts doing me just, that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to make it a com comedic no, podcast. No, it didn't happen, and I don't do that. Okay, but I got. I got taken advantage of for being a nice kid. Do you, you did, understand? And you feel now you're like that does that way doesn't pay. Being nice, being No, I think being nice does pay and I I feel You're still a nice guy. I'm a, I would say yeah, people, but I'm also an adult now and I can protect myself and I've also built up a little bit of I have a character, a voice and I'm older mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, but as a kid, I didn't have that. So I'm getting picked on. It's not like I'm doing stand up or I didn't have a brother to protect me. My dad wasn't around. What I'm I'm just saying like I was it wasn't great. Is what I'm getting at and I saw stuff. So but that that doesn't mean that's I'm not gay. I was no. a nice it's, kid, but yeah. I got picked on for that. So it it, me, it did mess with my brain. And then I go, "Well, am I gay?" That's what you start thinking to yourself. Well, they think I am. I walk weird and then you start doubting yourself, not thinking like you're gay. You just start it doesn't help your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And then you start experimenting. No, I never experimented. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> it, it, it affect, To me, it just makes me go into a shell. Because all that stuff, me getting picked on, you would think like, okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to do comedy. I'm going to prove that I'm like, I, I just went into baseball. And I was pretty good at baseball. How many Jewish guys play Division One baseball at Arizona State? Not many. It's probably less than 10. Sandy Koufax? He didn't go he to didn't, Arizona State. Oh, but what I'm getting at is. specific for a reason. <laughs> 
<laughs> bullying is real and it affects it can affect people and it messed with my self-esteem it affected my confidence to be honest with you so there's that now i do the i do the comedy which is a, that that's just my that's just me growing up mm-hmm. so a, out of that i joke about it later like oh just being because there's a lot of bullying on twitter you know twitter wasn't around i lived i lived it not that i was like i'm sure people had it worse than me but i'm just you, saying that's where i came from um, not gay not gay but, but your you, penis now works fine like without the drugs and stuff coursing through your system it's a fine different than before same. same. I don't I don't even same rigidity. I also I'm not even into dating to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not putting out that energy like where I want to go on dates with girls. If I see a girl and I'm into her maybe, you know, but I'm just not putting that energy out. I okay. also feel like Los Angeles is not the greatest place for that. I also nope. feel that again, a lot of every, the topics we've covered today. A lot of it there is a, a, those political here in Los Angeles, just that environment hanging over our head somewhat that comes into play, meaning like people are a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah. People this are still very, crazy. Sure. Very crazy. So place. I don't want to be around crazy people, crazy girls. Cra- I don't think I can handle it, but I'm also well, not getting, I'm not getting the, I'm not getting, you know, sometimes I get girls that are interested in me. It just depends. I don't always follow up on it. What kind? What's the, what's the demographic? Chuckle I mean, girls that are like funny guys. Um, you get, you, do, does anyone ever like it. slide into your DMs? I get. I mean, I get. No, I have definite like fans. I have like girl fans. I I do. I mean, I I that think I'm attractive, and I'm sure if I wanted to go out with, I could pursue it. Mm-hmm. But it's not like on the top of my brain. So when you, after a show, like, or the you won't like go to your you go to Instagram, whatever, but you won't like go to your Instagram messages to see like is anyone like no great show or i can flirt with someone or anything like that is that no. you don't use it for that mm-hmm. you're not hanging by the exit after the show watching as everybody walks back well you know i'll tell you what I'll give you I'll, I'll say i'll say something to that so i've been going on the road with spade a lot of times we'll do a show and just leave if it's one night we'll just leave and then leave and come home or go to the next place we'll just go back to the hotel oh. and or if it's uh so basically, I'm not hanging out that much talking to the fans after the show because we just get in, like after that second show, it's like get in the car and go because mm-hmm. you just get going. Or it's just one show, same thing, and that's it. But I was in Phoenix and I, I hung out in the hallway and I definitely, a lot of people were into it, girls coming up to me. So I guess it's out there if you're looking for it, mm-hmm. but I don't, I don't put my, I don't, I'm not like looking for it. I'll take it. But I'm not looking for it. But I do talk about on my periscopes how, yeah, I'd like to have a, you know, a relationship, maybe a dog or something. Or, I mean, I do. I would plenty like of to chicks have... with that like dogs in L.A. There are plenty of chicks with dogs in L.A. You're getting a lot of uh, feedback on Periscope from your girlfriend's side. <laughs> what are they saying? They're saying that you are very attractive. I know. Yeah. Girls think I'm good looking. Girl, I'm a fan. Girls like me. I'm What's d- not to like? You're but tall, I'm telling you're athletic. You, but you don't understand. You catch yourself in shape. But yeah. you don't you understand. Right Somebody said they're going to send him nudes right now. Whoa. I've had girls. A girl? Just, I've had that happen. Name Tyler. <laughs> Could be a girl. How big is her clit? <laughs> Keep it clean, Steve. <laughs> really? Is this a clean Well, platform? that's a rough word. Oh. C-L-I-T? <laughs> that's a pretty rough word. It's the hard K sound in the beginning. <laughs> I'm it's letting you know. To, it's you, It reminds you of the other C Four letter word. I'm letting you both you know, know, Dan and Steve, that again, I grew up in the San Fernando Valley, Reseda. I saw things. I saw the real deal, how people are. That's all I'm saying. As a Jewish guy, yep. raised on a freaking prison yard, I saw it. It was, pr- it was pretty much Shawshank <laughs> Redemption. There is this prison in Reseda that I haven't, I mean, I've, I've been through Reseda. I've never seen a prison. Uh, it was pretty much like that. What? Wait, I know, but you're saying this prison yard. But it, it affected me. Do you understand? You mean prison yard mentality? Yes. Not an actual prison yard. I'm sure some of them went to prison. Okay, but that doesn't the, mean that there was a pri- you didn't grow up on a prison yard. How would you feel if you were in third You grew third up in like grade upper middle class and valley. said, hey, Steve, stop smiling. What are you, gay? No, that is, I'm not saying that that's Would not, that feel good? 
would that help your confidence and go, okay, um, you know, girls like that? If I knew a gay was in third grade, you have bigger issues. You shouldn't know a gay is in third grade. Well, I'm older than you. It was different. Really? They knew what gay was? You got called gay in third grade? They know now. Oh, my God. They're Um, in it. Look, I'm not – that probably shaped you. It shapes everyone. Everyone, everyone, I think – Didn't help. They called me Ralph Mouth growing up because I never shut up. So that's not bad. Why? I I became – you know, I was – I I, I didn't want to talk. All right, well, I, here, I, here's I moved the deal. schools multiple times. My mom was in adult entertainment and was yeah. in the commercials for the Jerry Springer Too Hot for TV video. I mean, think oh, about that. that I pleasured I myself. Liter- yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I literally couldn't think walk about down that. the halls Talk without about people bullying. going, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. It's different. Hello? Their arms. It's different. <laughs> what is different? Because it happened to you. It happened to me. Yep. And you're Jewish. <laughs> Sensitive. <laughs> you're Jewish too, though, Madonia. <laughs> it happened to me because I'm Jewish and I'm a nice guy. See, it's like when I do the stuff with Don no, Barris. Nice. Do you Wait, think I like? So I'm you're saying nice. when it happens to Jews that are not nice, like um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe there's like a Harvey Weinstein. Most Jewish guys, I'll say this: if you look in, let's say show. I'm just saying show business. Here we go. Would you say <laughs> most managers and most agents are Jewish? A pr- high percentage. Uh, a I high mean, percentage? Is this the David Duke hour that we're now part of here? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just I would saying. say, yeah, majority. Okay. I'm not saying it's and a why prerequisite. Is that? But and why is that? Well, I think that a lot of them uh, understand the business. Besides that. They're smart. Besides that. They're interested in this entertainment. They're in, Besides in, that. Um, I, I feel like you want me to get into it's because their they're noses good people. or something. Okay. Oh, that's right. racist. How <laughs> that, racist. That, that's what I feel like you're goading Emma, me into here, Brody. Time code it when he said the nose No, line. Emma, do not time code that. <laughs> That's what, because Jewish people, oh boy, <laughs> a lot of them, they're happy. They pick people up. That's what a manager, hey, you're doing great, Steve. I love it. They're good energy. What are you, t- the Jewish people I know talk about how miserable <laughs> and how yeah, awful they're and- depressed their parents are and make them feel and guilt ridden and just, yeah, terrible, dude. Yeah, I wouldn't say, I mean, they're funny. People Do you are, want that? So you want a guy like that being your manager or your agent? Oh no, no, I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not happy with it, but I wouldn't say like I wouldn't put like joyful and and um, and gleeful into like what I would consider that's the not Jewish the stereotype. How yeah. many? Let me ask you a question. There's Jewish baseball coaches, pitching coaches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's, there are Jews. When you, <laughs> they, yeah. they allow when you, them to do when any you look job. At baseball, oh. <laughs> yeah, you astronauts do, too. Any of them. What I'm getting at is, <laughs> I'm gonna say Jew, I'm moving to Jews in sports. There's, in terms of like mental skills, energy, po- energy. I think that if you, let's say let's say pitching. I mean, I'm I'm trying to think of managers and coaches. You look at pitching coaches. The pitching coach for the Yankees, Larry Rothschild. He's still the pitching coach with them. Yeah, he was Jewish. He still is, probably. <laughs> yeah, right. They, they okay. I'm saying that I see it. You look at mental skills coaches. A lot of them there's there's Jewish warmth, Jewish bedside manner. I do it. I'm Jewish. I have to three thousand television audience warm ups. You know why people like having me around? Because I have good energy, and I tell you that good energy. I think is is a is a trademark of some. Yes, I understand. That's what I'm getting at. Okay, and I, and I've also I was I've also been in the deli line in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Those are Hasidic and, Jews. And Hasidic Jew just comes right in, walks right past you like you don't aren't even there. So you didn't notice you. <laughs> and and order like you like aren't aren't even on the same planet as they are. Steve. So I'm not saying that there are there are beautifully friendly Jewish people. I understand. But there are I don't I don't necessarily just like everyone. I, it's else. not something <laughs> I would first think of them as as the you know the warmest people. I in the do. World. I do. Great. Brody, what? Uh, it's getting about the time to where maybe you just want to shift gears and go and play a game. Or... What are you talking about? <laughs> We just got out of of the. We probably, these guys tried to pin me down on the medication, so I t- tried to weasel my way out of that. I get out of that, and then we go to the Jewish stuff, and I got a freaking Aryan from Tampa telling me to shift gears. We probably pre-potted too long. That is, we did. That's, we probably pre too that's long. That's the thing. It, you want it to be an organic thing. It's your own thing. You don't want to be told what to do and when to shift. Yeah, why are you saying why are you saying to shift? Because somebody in Periscope says what's going on in here? No, I wasn't even watching Periscope anymore. 
Then why don't you go up here and tell? Then what? Then what's your? Why would you say shift gears? It's about three twenty-five, and you're getting real deep into the Jewish. What's wrong with that? That's just a good way to go. And we were we did it for like two minutes. This it started getting heated. I started going somewhere, and then you shut it down. This podcast is brought to you by Twenty Three and Me. Find out <laughs> if you have Oshkosh Jewish in you. Uh, is it Oshkosh? How do you say that Jewish? Ozakanazi. Oz- Ozakanazi Jewish at Twenty Three and Me. <laughs> But the only, the only everyone. reason why this went into Judaism, because we you guys harped on the medication. Use promo code David Duke for your first. <laughs> I'm saying I got dragged into this. I I, I don't Drag. know. Yeah, no, no. I think you brought in your your um, your faith into it to kind of prove a point that you Thank are you. a good guy. Thank and you. that I think you brought, I think you're trying to really extend a point to a really far place by saying that the Jewish people are known for their warmth and, and bedside manner. Uh, bedside is, manner? Is, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, look, I think that's because you're thinking most doctors are Jewish and that someone's got to give the and bedside manner. Yeah. And, a, and, and attorneys. Yeah. And ec- economic. I'm just telling you wizards. that if you're, if you have a lot of my problems in early life, have been because people don't they don't understand me and sure. they think that i'm being a jerk and i'm really not being a jerk but that's, i don't think that's faith-based yeah i, I do i don't okay no. that I mean, everyone's everyone's I mean, experience is different I, I don't i mean I, I don't know i never really experienced anyone hating me because i was a christian i think you're a good guy and i don't think it's because you're jewish yeah, I, I, like, I, I, I think not, I think I'm, those two but I'm not even bar mitzvah. Really I'm not bar mitzvah. Born Jewish, not bar mitzvah. Me neither. I'm just I telling don't. you my 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 feeling is well. that when I, I the, the, the <laughs> stuff yeah. wore a hat to one. No bar mitzvahs at this table. Being friendly in in show business is good. They want you around. Do warm up. Do my show. Do this. Promote this. Come on my podcast. I'd be on your podcast. Be in my movie. When you're a kid. And you're raised on a frickin' prison yard, and you're happy. I love that it's two screens too. So Marlene, hi, Brody. Wait, yeah, hold on. Um, I'm on a podcast right now, and I know that I just got booked tomorrow. Is it for tomorrow? Yes. What time? Okay, I can do it. Tomorrow's Thursday, okay. correct? Yes. Okay, I'll call you back in a little bit, but confirm me for tomorrow at three thirty. Stephen Brody Stevens you have to bring just your own wardrobe? booked another gig. <laughs> All right. I don't think I have to bring my own wardrobe. They have it there for me. All right, so I'll talk to you later, Marlene, or you can email me. But uh, you can go ahead. Do you and... have to provide your own dildos, Brody? Stephen, what is you with the sex talk? <laughs> this right, is a straight sorry. edge. I'm sorry, Judeo Christian valued podcast. See, at least oh, they, they, now we you, got the answer, Marlene. Appreciate thank you. It. Now we got to edit this out. Thank you, Marlene. <laughs> okay. You okay. Thanks. Bye. See, that's good, Brody. At least you know now you don't have to bring your dildos or your stash. Yeah. Again, I'm not. Again, I'm not a. I'm not like. Uh, I'm not pro-Jewish. I'm just like looking at reasons for things. You I like to break Jewish, it down. But I, I was think, born Jewish. Yeah, absolutely. but I went to church. But I, I don't went to think that, that's what made you a nice guy. I don't even think you think you you're Jewish. Jewish. Yeah. What's that? I don't even believe you think yeah. you're Jewish. You're like, I didn't get bar mitzvah. You don't. Yeah, like you I, say I you're blue you, collar. You have blue collar's not yeah, Jewish. You, you use it as a sort of menorah. thing. Yeah. What? Do you, like what day of um of it's Lent like is the, it? It's the fourth. The fourth day of Lent. I don't even know. It's not because it's Hanukkah. First of all, Lent is in fucking. They're Catholics. That's, that's Catholic. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's, that's a book later. Twice, Lent. That's a whole later book. Hanukkah. You're celebrating. Goyim. All I'm getting at is, <laughs> and look. Look, I know we're just we're kind of like we're not rambling. We're, we're not going, rambling. No, this is we're this just is... answering questions. <laughs> That's <laughs> all. But this is you know like again. I, I think you analyzing. Can you talk and... closer to the mic? How many podcasts have you done, Steve? <laughs> I think you analyzing and you uh, have. <laughs> you brought it up. No, you This is good. This is self uh, self analysis. Yeah, and I think it is. we're we're sitting here playing Monday Night Football kind of hosts watching the Brody Stevens <laughs> fucking the only the only new development sure. for me if you want to call like a new development is me being off even medication with and, I, and that's not to say that I won't go back on mm-hmm. only it's cleared things up it's like again I'm giving my old self a chance sure but I what I'm getting at some of these things that have 
just, it, it is everything is about your childhood. Got a lot it. of it is. Yeah. So again, I just want to I I, I want to address some of those. You Do know, you still need to go to doctors and kind of check in with them? For what? I don't just know why you yelled why you yelled at me for what? Probably why you yelled at me for what? That's probably what you need to go to a doctor to just kind of ask him. No, I'm fine. Or her, of course. What you would maybe yell at, at another person for what for? When have I yelled at somebody? Uh, about ten did. seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, that. I don't know. Fifteen, if you want to time code that, Emma. Um, <laughs> not yelled, but you know. Um, Lash out. Never did. I feel like you think that medication or seeing a doctor is it's a trigger for you, and I think you think it's a sign of weakness, and it doesn't. It's not. And so you think that just checking in and being like, "Look, this is where I am. This is who I am." Check me out. That way, everyone like is kind. Of, I mean, what what is this? Are you going to call like uh, urgent care and have them uh, set up a pop up shop? I've never been on Lexapro, Brody, that. but I go to a, a person once a month, every month, like for Jiffy what? Lube, just for a check in. You go to Jiffy Lube every month? No, uh, uh, I go, no. yeah, I go to a, a check in. I don't need it. Okay, what We're, kind of check in do I need? Um, I don't know. I mean, here's just, here's. I don't I don't know if I need it either. But I know that I went through something really bad and I needed it then and I kind of probably still need it now or I don't know if I don't need it now, but I might not. But who knows? I feel good right now. So if I was to make a major life change, like maybe go on a hunt like three or four different medications by myself, I might check in with my doctor and say like, hey, this is something I'm doing now. Like if I started to try heroin and became a heroin addict, mm -hmm. I might let my therapist know that now, by the way, along with uh, the nothing you give me, I'm, I'm taking heroin on my own. Well, I, I'll, say, I'll, say, I'll uh, say this in terms of like, I, I'm on Periscope. That's not a drug. That, yeah, that's, that's I, not, I don't uh, think anybody prescribes yeah, that. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> that's, that's. Well, I get it from Canada. No yeah, prescription. Yeah, yeah. I, meaning like, people see me on Periscope. Mm-hmm. So I do check-ins on my Periscope. Okay. I let them see how I am. I would just continue that over to a doctor. Just check why? in with a doctor. Why? Because why? I don't know. Maybe that – I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. My father-in-law said if you go to a doctor between 20 and 45, you're a fucking asshole. If you walk around and you're fine and you stand up and you can do 50 push-ups and mm -hmm. 50 sit-ups, you're fine. Who is this guy? Brian Callen? No, my father-in-law. Oh, okay. Probably. Same, <laughs> but that's the same kind of mentality. I personally am – I don't go to a lot of physical doctors, but I know when I need mental help, especially the bre the it, look what we're in, what we do, what you said you've been through. It's all you can't kind of work. Well, that I stuff would out say on your I own. would say I would say show business is stressful. Of course, just, yeah. Just yeah. This, and he, let me get to another thing. Easy. Originally, when I when I because when I lived in New York, let me get back to this. Yeah, I lived in New York. From 97 to 2000, I wasn't on any kind of medication when I lived in New York. So there was a period that I was able to function and enjoy and perform. Is that when you lived with the Bushman? Yes. <laughs> so I would. I live with La you. You went. You, you lived with the Bushman <laughs> without any drugs coursing through your system. I live with Lahai, the Bushman. Yeah, that honestly international is... star search. <laughs> no, I moved That's, to New York in Norm McDonald. Sober decision. <laughs> Here's the thing. I was in New York, right? So, mm -hmm. and uh, I. You, the Bushmen, the East Village. The Bushman <laughs> loves to party. Steve Lubeckin, <laughs> Studio 54. Well, the Bushman, by the way, Lahai Fam, fam Bouila. How do you loves say to party. Time? Fan Boule. I knew Lahai in Seattle. Lahai is from Seattle. So I knew Lahai back in 94, 95, and all that stuff. So when I moved to New York in 97, I moved into this weekly hotel up on the Upper West Side, the Malibu, the Malibu Inn. And Lahai is staying in the hotel. That's amazing. And he had a dead rat in his room. I remember. He, found a <laughs> so he was just keeping it there. Later, Emma. It was yeah. the room was. St See you later, Emma. Bye. Bye. Great I'll job. I'll miss you. Hey, Brody. What? <laughs> we have uh, very little time, and everybody on the Periscope wants to see the baseball card game. All right, let's do the baseball card game. How long have we gone on for? Probably about three hours. One twenty. Is All that right. with prepod? Because we prepodded for a while. Yeah. It was... All right. This was kind of a, I don't know. I had I could have fun with Steve. Like Steve's fun to like, and Dan's great and doing all this stuff. I don't know if it makes for a great podcast. I'm not sure. Thanks. No, no. I'm, I mean, thanks for your time, Dan. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what we did today. I don't know if it was a great <laughs> podcast, but you know, we got through it. But was it just guys yelling about Jewish and medications? I hope not. I thought it I don't was know. funny. I didn't check. Let's go. Let me. Just... You were you were pretty vulnerable. And that that's always good. 
Let's see what they said. Let me just look at some comments, and then we'll do the baseball card game. Yeah, let's judge ourselves while we're still on it. <laughs> yeah, no, like, let's see what's oh, a great idea. I'm not saying <laughs> comments. I'm saying um, let's look at some comments. I let's believe get, is let's what get you just the said. reviews. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hold on. No, I'm gonna on stage. That's in the middle of the play. You know what? Let's take some Yelp reviews right now. How do you think this thing should end, huh? <laughs> oh, this, the, we're doing go ahead, a, get on the mic, Eric. Choose your own adventure here. Hi, great Eric. jersey, dude. Can I plug my podcast while you do this? Yeah, do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am also doing a live podcast on Wednesdays at the All Things Comedy Studio at 9.20 to 9.30-ish, somewhere around there. It's early here, whatever time fucking people get here. But it's every Wednesday. It's called What's the Odds with Steve Renazizi. We talk sports, pop culture, and gamble. Can I plug my podcast while you do this? You just did. Oh, not an echo chamber. Ladies and gentlemen, Dude, are you doing I am also... Okay, go ahead, Eric. What's going on? We're oh, I was just now. letting you know they really enjoyed the podcast today. Who enjoyed the podcast? The Periscope followers. You had a lot of good comments. Uh, Whatever time fucking people get. Can you here. stop cursing? I it's every Wednesday. You. It's called What's the Odds with Steve Renazizi. We talk sports, pop culture, and gamble. Echo Chamber. Podcast while you do this? You, you just, just did. did. I, I, How many times are you going to plug your own podcast? Hey, Dan, do you have a podcast? Love this feature, feature, dude. No, I don't have a podcast. Like, honestly, you know, they really enjoyed the podcast today. I'm the Eric, I've heard the that Los eight Angeles times. Comedy basketball league. league. Comments, so, Dan, uh, when's your podcast? Uh, I don't you have a podcast. Every Wednesday, it's called What's Argus the Hamilton. Not yours. Yours is Wednesdays. And Gamble. Argus okay, Hamilton, seven p.m. Did. on Tuesdays. I, I, how many times are you gonna plug hey, your Dan, own do you have a podcast? Hey Dan, you have a podcast. Love this No, I don't have a podcast. Like, honestly, yeah, but are you still doing Hear Me This Book? Eric, I've heard that eight times. Comedy basketball. basketball. I want to. So Dan, when's your podcast? But I'm having so much fun doing this new uh, one that I'm not having time, Dan, which is exactly what people Argus said Hamilton. was gonna happen. Not yours. Yours is Wednesdays. We're oh, back you should in definitely go. Wa you should go watch his new podcast. He lost to Britain Middlecombe, which is why I'm wearing hold a jersey because he slapped. Everyone, hold on! I'm getting pissed off. We're back in the pre-podcast, right? Are we pre-potting again? I think no. We're doing a real thing. I want to. I'm trying to figure things out. This is a live echo chamber. This is the monologue now. Yeah. This is a nightmare. Hold on, everyone, be quiet. We're back. Definitely go watch. Everybody, be quiet. Podcast. He lost to Britain Middlecombe, which is why I'm wearing a jersey. Hold on, Eric. Stop talking. Hold on. I'm getting pissed off. We're back in the <laughs> pre-podcast. Right? Are we pre-potting again? I think no, this... we're doing a real thing. Everybody stop oh, talking. Figure things out. This is the live echo chamber. This is the monologue now. Yeah. This is a nightmare. Hold on, everyone be quiet. We're back in Everybody, go watch Everybody be quiet. I did. We lost to Britain Middlecombe, which is why I'm wearing this Hold on, Eric. Stop talking. Hold on, I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> we're back in the pre-podcast. Are we pre-potting again? I think. No, go watch Valley Vibes Everybody on YouTube. Stop talking. This is the live echo chamber. All right. This is the monologue. Let's play the baseball yeah. card game. Go ahead, Eric. What were you about to say? <laughs> I kind of lost everything I was going to say with that in my head. Jesus, how can anyone keep a train circles. of thought with that thing happening? Are we back the ahead? baseball game? Baseball card game. Baseball card game. How do you play this game? Is this, this sounds like a game. Every day, my sons would come over to me like, Dad, we have a new game we'd like to play with you. <laughs> and you could tell that they're making up the rules as they play, the, as they're telling me the rules. They just want to play, but I feel know, like this is the same situation. You actually, you'll know this Wayne one. Tolleson. <laughs> Joey Cora. <laughs> yeah. Stay right there. Willie <laughs> Randolph. Okay, stay right there. Middle, I'm middle gonna play, I want to play a game with, just Milton with Steve Bradley. right now. Bobby oh, Meacham. Slow down. <laughs> Sorry. Slow down. Mike Pegarudo. <laughs> Ray Parker Jr. We are Jim playing. Hans. Okay, we are playing the baseball card game. Got it. I pulled out a card. I pulled out a, 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 a pack, a group. A grip of cards. A grip of cards. I pulled out Ooh, a grip. Is that of official? Cards. Is this part of the game? That's, yeah. I pulled out you a pull out a grip of cards. A grip of cards. <laughs> okay. And the card on the top I have, and it made me think of you. Okay. Actually. Great. So yes, let's go ahead and play the baseball card game with Steve Renazizi. These these are 1991 baseball cards. The score collection. Steve Sachs. <laughs> It's not a bad guess. <laughs> Thank you. I know. That's not a bad guess. Okay. Barry Larkin. Slow down. Sorry. Sorry. Slow down. You've Have you played the baseball card game? Never. I, I, I'm i literally just picturing that you hold a baseball card. I, you're going to give me a team and I have to guess the guy. Okay. So everyone <laughs> slow down. Everybody slow down. Did you see? No, I didn't see. I saw it was a Yankee. Well, that's why I said you knew it was a Yankee. Was okay. it Wayne, Was it Mike Pagger? Dan Pasqua? No. Ron slow down. Gidry. Slow down. There's rules. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Sorry. Steve, I've done this game a bunch. Okay. 
You like Echo Chamber? No. I created it. <laughs> oh, you don't like Echo Chamber? No, I do like it, but I thought you were threatening Echo Chamber again. Like, like we're going to do another 10 minutes of Echo Chamber before we got to this game. So, I, you know, just because I have dinner tonight, I would say in the, in the, for the sake of the game, let's just play the game. Oh, look who's making the rules. No, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we'll all play here. We, I have a card in my hand. Right now, I'm holding it in my hand and I'm thinking. This okay. is exactly how my kids play okay. these games. By the way. <laughs> so here we go. Yep. One at a time. All right. There's rules. I'm going to go ahead and start with Dan. You've thrown out a lot of names. Okay. <laughs> Sixteen guys. So we're going to start out with Dan. It's 1991. It is a Yankee. This is a special, you know, okay. warm up. 1991. Uh, so go ahead. Oh, I just have to guess. Well, you, you guessed get, names before. Okay. Um, you can also 19, ask a question. Eric, I let me. <laughs> Eric, stop. Stop. Please stop. Please. Go ahead, Dan. Where'd he go to college? You have to guess. I have to guess first. Don Shula. That's a football player. <laughs> so Good Don, no, though. Can it's, I not, it's not Don Shula. Guys. Tap into my energy. You're ha I, this is something that's popular, and yep. you're and you're abusing the game. Not at all. What I'm sensing is, it, it went from the medication to the gay stuff. I didn't bring up the gay Jewish stuff. stuff. This guy, and then you brought up the Jewish stuff. Nope. No, it's you brought up the Jewish. Well, because you backed me into you a corner. You brought up the gay mm -hmm. stuff too. Actually. No, I didn't. This guy said sixty forty, and I said, oh, that's where it started from. Go ahead, Eric. Oh, I thought I wasn't playing. Uh, I'll let you play. Oh, thank you, um, Julio Franco. He played on the Yankees? I don't know. Maybe. He did at one point, I think. You yeah, don't I think know. He, I, he played for like 20 teams. <laughs> no, it's not Julio Franco. Don Steve, Mattingly. Slow down. <laughs> you know, I, here's the, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reveal who it is, what? and I'll play the game. Because but, you guys aren't channeling in. What I'm seeing right now. You I asked guess, me in 1991 what, you know Yankees. What you know what I'm turn, seeing right, right now? You know what I'm seeing right now? What? Gentile energy. Whoa. <laughs> I don't understand what the difference is. Between? We're being gentle? No, he's saying because Eric, we're not don't try to Jewish. Be funny. You're, but Eric, Madonia is Jewish. Eric, you're, I mean, you're going to have to go back to your seat, Eric, if you keep it up. I'm sorry. You're, you're, the, the energy on this room is shifting, and I may have to get to go back to the seat. Please. I'm not telling uh, you to go now. Oh, don't, Just sit and relax. Stop looking at your phone. Read the energy. I'm trying to help you guys. I just booked a gig for tomorrow. I'm doing the, the he show. He doesn't have to bring his own dildos. I'm doing the show, I'm doing the show with Ian Edwards and Bill Burr. So Eric, when these guys come here and you come to the table, don't change your demeanor. Don't don't make me to be the bad guy. You have to be impartial and stay in in that producer mode because when you I see you and you get a little bit of confidence or you get a little you'll turn on people. I am not a fan of that. We're playing the baseball card game. Everyone chill, everyone freaking relax. Now focus. Steve? Yep. 1991. Yankees, you can ask a question. Okay. Infielder or outfield? Great question. Yeah, okay. Mostly <laughs> on this card, infielder. Steve Sachs. You mentioned him earlier. I'll go ahead and let you guess another name. Okay. <laughs> it's not Steve Sachs. Then. It's not Steve Sachs. Okay. He is an. I, I, I think he's probably played both positions, all positions. Okay. I mean, outfield and infield, but he is, I'm going to, I'll say first baseman. on Kevin this. Moss. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you play the baseball card game. Oh, yeah. It's Kevin Moss because I had to take charge. I had to tell you, focus, stop it. Get your childishness out of here and start focusing and connect. I will say this. The only reason I had an advantage, because I knew it was a Yankee, I knew he was white. I saw his face was white. So I knew he was a white infielder, not like Willie Randolph or... Okay. So, and I knew Kevin Moss Willie was Willie Randolph first was going to be my guess, actually. That was going to be my first guess. I don't know. I like that game, though. It's fun. Hello, don't get stressed oh. out. Can I do it to you? Montreal. Yeah. Okay, here's, a, here's another okay. one. We got one right now. All right. Who? Go, I don't want to... Okay. Dan? Okay. 1991. What's again. your guess? 1991. You get uh, it, you start out with a guess. It's like a one in a million uh, just, guess. Just yeah. the, a, any guess. Um, Ozzy Smith. Great, but no. Chris Sabah. Well, now when you, Eric, <laughs> stop it. 
I was I waited like <laughs> a good ten beats. I understand. I think he's gonna give you a hint now. I was gonna give Dan a hint I, I on that. I just I you know I don't slipped. no no don't know you know. I can't have your emotions <laughs> come into this. <laughs> It's not, Someone's got to make a T-shirt. Don't know, you know. <laughs> it's not Ozzy. The festival Smith. of friendship. Sure. <laughs> what was your guess, Eric? Chris Sabo. No, your turn. Is there any? Are you gonna give any? Nothing. Okay. No hints on the first round. Cal Ripken Jr. Ooh, that's incorrect. Now we go to question mode. You can ask anything. Is he African American? Is he white? Is he right-handed? Is he left-handed? Okay. What position? Does he have a nickname? I'm gonna say no. Okay. Um, let's go with 1991. I was four years old in 1991, by the way, guys. Um, I'm holding the card. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great this hit. Is more, this is more a, of an see, energy. Was, this yeah, might be this more is, of an energy game where he's okay. just trying it's, to help. It is. It is, it is yeah. an energy okay. game. I'm uh, holding the card. It's like Dungeons and Dragons. I'm holding the card. It's in my hand. I'm feeling the card. He doesn't have a nickname. Mm, let's go with... And I understand if you don't know it, but I, I, and I do have contingency rules if you don't know. Okay. But I there think these other guys will possibly... They'll get it. Because it is about me giving help as well. So yeah, go ahead. absolutely. He does not have a nickname. He does not have a nickname. I'm going to say Joey Cora again. <laughs> okay, so you said Joey Cora. Yes. And then your other guess was Ozzie, Ozzie Smith. Smith. Shortstop. There's a connection there. Infielders. There's name connections, but those are not the guesses. Go ahead, Eric. Is he a Latino player? Yes. He is Latino, I would say. Sandy Alomar. No. But the name, that would be in the, it's a decent, it's a decent name guest. Guest and guest. Go ahead. Was he on a playoff team that year? Yes. That year, I don't know about 1991, but he is known as a guy who has been in the playoffs. You can ask me another. I'll let you go ahead. Okay. Ask me another. Is he, has he gone on to manage since then? No. Okay. I was going to say Ozzie Guillen. Um, Kirby Puckett. No. Okay. He's not a superstar. Got it. All right. You'll know it. These are names. You will know it. Okay. You will know Jack it. Jack Morris? Sorry. He's oh, Latino. Latino. Sorry, sorry. He's Latino. Oh, he's Latino. I forgot. So Kirby He's Puck. Latino. And also, now you, here's when you play the baseball card game. Okay. See, we got a big crew here. It's, it's hard to play the baseball card, card game with a lot of people. Letters matter. Connections matter. I said, Dan, good guests. Good guests. Think about... Coras, Alomars, the Latino sort of vibe or that thing. So I'm thinking... I, is it not my? I don't want to go on a turn. So you can ask his like position. I'm willing to go into that. Oh, route. okay. Uh, I'm going to assume he's an infielder if he's Latino. He's not an infielder. Oh, outfielder. Outfield Latino. Uh, I will also tell you he's not an outfielder. He's not. Oh, he's a pitcher. pitcher then. There you go. Wow. Okay. okay, that brings us into the. Is uh, he a? Is he a uh, starter or a closer? I, not a starter. I would say more of a closer. Definitely a and closer. And playoffs. He played in the playoffs, he said. Now you think of playoffs. Now you think of closer. Now you think of Latino. Now you think of 1991 region. Raleigh Fingers is the only person I'm thinking of. You can ask questions. Is he right-handed? Is he left-handed? You didn't mm -hmm. get to that. Righty or lefty? That's a great question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's lefty. He's lefty. A big lefty closer. Latin. What am, who am I American missing? League or National League? The card I have is American. But he played on the National League, too. I would say he's more known as a national. Damn Ooh. it. Ooh. You know it? I have a guess. Aaron oh, has a guess. Aaron has a guess. Jesse Orozco? Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Orozco. that's how you play wow. the baseball card game. Aaron gets it. He got it. I would have said made know. the last out of the 86 World Series. I could have said that. Or caught the ball. I could have said that. <laughs> Jesse or Ross. And then well, I think of him as a Met. And then you had, you said Joey. Cora. So that was the J. Yeah. And then you said Ozzy Smith. That's the O. J. Orozco to me is just I've always an 80s team. I didn't, I wasn't, Orozco, I was thinking more like 
I would have never got it. Yeah. Well, how did how did you get it, Aaron? What 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 help what helped you get that? Oh, that's a good job. He put the clues together. Let you put them together. Okay, why don't you pick a card out of there and we'll wrap this thing up. I have Ooh. to take a, a heft. A it? grip. A grip of cards. <laughs> okay. Pick a, a card because cards. some of those names I may not know. It's got to be somebody. I would say that's take perfect. a. Perfect. Oh, really? Yes. Here we go. 1991. Oh, okay. Very <laughs> Do I have a guess? I'm going to start with Eric Oligny because you've disrespected him so much. <laughs> <on the> podcast. <laughs> Eric, take a guess of any player in 1991. Feel free. Go ahead. Uh, Jim Abbott. Wrong. But wonderful guess and way to go with a disabled person right off the bat. All right. Thank you. Brody. 1991? 1991. I'm going to go with... Uh, Wrong. Dave <laughs> Steeb. Dave Steeb. Good guess, but not, okay. not the right answer. Okay. Good guess. Not the right answer. Dan Madonia, do you have a guess? 1991. Nolan Ryan. Years old. Nolan Ryan, again, great guess, not the right answer. I'm going to open it up to questions now, or should I give you a clue? You tell me, Brody. How do you want this thing to go? I say give me a clue. I'm going to give you a clue, okay? He's on a card on a team that he's not known to play for, mm. but he has been known to play for several teams, and I would say he is a borderline Hall of Famer. 1991. Carlton Carl Fisk. Carlton Fisk is a good guess, but is not the right answer, Eric Oligny. Borderline Hall of Famer, not known for the team that he's on the card here in 1991. Don't even, didn't even really realize he played for this team, to be honest with you. A journey. But <laughs> he's gone on to play for several teams since then and is a borderline, I do borderline, Hall of Famer. Whew. 1991. Mm -hmm. Is he a, a pitcher or a... Uh... He is known to be an outfielder. 1991 outfielder borderline. Mm -hmm. One a World Series, at least one I think of, I know of, but um, Tom Brunansky. No, <laughs> and I would say Tom Brunansky is not a borderline Hall of Fame. Okay, it's a tough game. Dan Madonia. I'm going to give you a next clue after this, but uh, actually I'll give you a, a clue right now. He um, he ha was known to have a really – well, hold on. That's, I'm just going to give you something that helps you. <laughs> um, uh, big personality. A good personality. Frank Thomas. to get in trouble. Okay, good, good guess. Good oh, guess. Rookie not, year, an answer, yeah. not an answer. Lenny Dykstra. That's not the right answer, but Frank Thomas is more of the right answer because of um, – African American. There it is. Now right. we're talking. And the fact now. that he didn't That's play how you play outfield. the game. Now we're talking. <laughs> so Madonia's now opened up another door. We've got African American outfielder known for a decently big personality. I'm going to give you another clue now. Coleman. He has, this is a pretty big clue, and something that if you're, he's got offspring that are now in the major leagues. Tony and, Gwynn. And I will say this close, very close. I will say this one is just very recently in the news. Go ahead, Brody. Ooh. Very recently in the news, 1991. This is, might have been his rookie year or maybe first or second year. Real young in this card. Real young. An African-American. African-American outfielder. Borderline Hall of Famer. Won at least one World Series. I probably won an MVP if I looked it up. Has kids that close. play now. Has a kid that plays now. At least one. That we know of. Yep. And I'll give oh, you another. Racist. I'll give you Who another hint. That? His kid... Got signed and was in the minor leagues with the same team that he is probably one one of mostly synonymous with. Cecil Fielder. Close. Not that. We're getting there close. We're getting closer and closer. Closer and closer. His son is a pitcher. Oh. He is not a pitcher. Doug Drape. Oh, he's not a pitcher. He was an outfielder. His son is a pitcher. Lance McCullers. Nope. Aaron? That's right. Gary Son Sheffield. of a damn gun. Look at Justin Aaron. Sheffield by the got way, traded by the Yankees. He's from Tampa, Seattle Florida. Today. 1991. I know Oakland. That must have been his first year, right? Wow. He's from Oh, Jeff. yeah. Brewers? No. Two years with the Brewers, 90, 89 and 90. And then, yeah, look how young he looks, dude. Wow. Pretty big personality, right, I'd say? Yeah. Yes. I'm in a World Series. I don't know. He's got like five kids, six kids. Yeah. yeah. So Justin Sheffield just got traded from the Yankees to Seattle. 
Not bad, right? Okay, yeah. I like how you played that. I like the variations of the baseball card game. And that's the thing. Let me yeah. let me get into this. Okay. You can see how good Aaron, he's good at it. He mm-hmm. knows sports. Aaron knows his stuff. Yep. Eric is okay on the phone with the baseball card game. Not so that's much That's because I person. can cheat. <laughs> and um, it is different. It is different with, with, the, with the group here. I have to think, like, is the baseball card game, does it work on this level? Well, it's just quicker. That's all. You probably yeah. you, you do a round of like guesses and then a, 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 like giving out the clues. The question then, is, is, did they have fun playing it? I don't know. What does Periscope say? Do you have to go check and make sure, Brody, that everything's all right? What's Yelp say? Did you guys have fun playing it? I did. I mean, yeah. but I'm interested. That's in, all that matters is if you have fun playing. All I'm thinking about is like, was the podcast okay? Because it was great. I mean, we're talking about Jewishness. We're still we're here, dude. About, yeah, we're still we've, here. On, we've gone like on it's. To, really I gotta just, check, I'm checking the reviews on the podcast. I'm, I already, I'm on just iTunes. wait till we, me and Madonna, leave at least. Like, we, I don't want to know what people thought about me. What do people say? What are people saying? <laughs> What's the half? I, I mean, I'm, I, I think have they to try liked to go it. have dinner with my family. I think they liked it. Where are you gonna eat with your family tonight? I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I don't know. What my wife's making tonight. Ooh. So she Surprise. makes dinner. Yeah. She cooks. Mm. Yeah, I mean, she makes dinner. Enjoy. She doesn't like doing it. So which is not. A, that's why I would say she's not a cook. Does oh. hamburger helper and like TV dinners a big? No, thing? we do like a little bit more than that. I mean, I wasn't trying to shift the energy. I just wanted to know. No, it's like chicken, and you know. Good stuff. But, they get you know, plated. We're not getting. So here's Hello here's fresh. the deal. Yeah. This is what's going to happen. The photo is going to go up. Eric's going to take a screen grab, and Ooh. he's going to be right in the middle of it, smiling away on the screen grab. I'll make sure I get a smile. And then he'll go check out the podcast, and he'll always he'll be in the right in the center of it. I'm not going to promote on my page without me in it. Why not? Because it's. That's just not who I. When do I ever? So you're telling me when I put the when I promote when you put it up, you can put it up with those. I always take a picture with just the guests and you, so you can put it up on your page and you can promote it. I know, but you when you if you're why would I put something on my page that has not me in it? Because you're helping book the guests, you help be a part of the show. Yeah, but But if there's a version he could put himself in, he would. But you know he's going to put it in, even though he's only been up there for like. Doesn't matter. He's still a producer on the fucking show, dude. I understand. He just walked in off the fucking. (laughs) I understand. (laughs) Yeah, you know when Eric is going to promote it. Yeah, he's going to promote his job. Yes, with his photo in it, as opposed to saying, "Here's the check out the podcast." Here's the podcast that I came in at the end of. Right. I, took, I chose to take a picture with me in it because it's my fucking web page. It's my that podcast. Might, that I, yeah. See, so it is, about, it is about me. My, 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 me, me, me. Of course it me. is. That's what but this industry is. Well, why is. is that? What I, do you mean this industry is? Eric. You have to be about yourself in this industry or you get run over completely. No, you don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. As, right. as no, I'm you not, don't. I'm not the same way, but he is right. As a Jewish no. man, get, no. I will get run. The winners over. win, bro. No, and they run people. And over. I'm also, and I'm also showing you that. on that is how to promote your podcast on your page to say I, Eric, everything I, I write is exactly how you should look, write it on your. page. Here's the deal, Eric. I know you, and I'm not knocking you, but you I, are knocking. I, me. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that you have a way of getting right in the middle of stuff. It's, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, and I'm not. I'm just being honest in terms of photos. Like you've jumped right in the middle. I, I get did it. one time, one time, seven years ago when I was drunk at an event with you and I don't drink anymore. I was drunk at an event. I made a mistake. And for seven years now, I will live that mistake. I have to remember it all the time. And Who'd you jump what was the mistake? Uh, what was the it was photo? a big one. It was Eric, a good one. It was a good mistake. You jump in. Bradley you Cooper. Ju- Eric. Close. Zach Galifianakis and the head of Comedy Central. Eric. And Kent Alterman. Yeah. Eric. Zach and you. He, what happened? I'm just I saying, just, Eric, I did, like a, I did like a Tim Tebow kneel right in front of him and uh, made picture for Comedy Central. But Eric, you just said it. You just told on yourself at the end. You said, well, yeah, I'm going to put myself in because nobody else and they'll run you, run you yeah, over. Yeah, you have to think about yourself in this industry. That's What, the what truth. is this, this industry thinking about yourself? I don't. I think about others. You think when I do That's audience warm-up. This whole warm-up, podcast, you so were you're talking telling about me, yourself. You're telling me when I do audience warm-up, it's about me yes. and not about the show? Bull it's about, crap. It's about Bull the crap. show, but you're also working for yourself. I'm working for the show. I'm not working for me. I want them to do well because if they do well, I do do well. But when I, I'm when 100% I, here working for you. I come you're in. You're not and working I, for me, but you're helping out the show. You're right. helping the show a lot with booking some guests. You're helping with some, um, you know, got to promote this and do that. All I was saying is that you will throw yourself in right into the middle of things. Is what I'm getting. You get. You give Eric an inch, he'll take six inches. 
That's what I'm getting at. And then you'll say, well, you got to promote yourself. No, everyone's going to st- jump over you. And I'm going, that's not how I am. You know that the, the phrase is you, you give Eric an inch, he takes a yard, right? <laughs> well, that's, I just six want to so say, if you just relatively took choice. six inches, that's kind of like I'm what good. you normally like, Okay, well, like I, gave, I gave him a break. That's called I enthusiasm. I could have said yes. a foot. I could have said a foot. Okay. So what do you think about that? <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? Weird no, I, I think, six inches I think like I'm very work. careful. That's I think I'm penis. very careful about what I post and what I do and like uh, the way I tag people. I, don't, I think I'm very careful about all this stuff. So I don't think that I'm pushing too hard. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I think putting myself in the picture, it is my page. My people aren't going, oh, look, it's another picture of Brody without Eric. He's just, he constantly, he just loves Brody. I'm not, I'm putting myself there because it puts me into the thing. My people who I have watching me aren't the same people. I have a lot of people that don't watch you that I can send and go, hey, there you go. Eric. Are we still pre-potting? No, but I'm just now. This is post-pod. Post-pod? I don't know. Here's my thing. I feel that if I'm a part of something, do you think, like, here's the thing. I go on the road with David Spade. How many photos do I take with David Spade? Were and you put in West up... Palm Beach with David Spade last week? Yes, I was. As a Jewish man? Now, how many, how many photos do I put up of David Spade and me on there? Other than just saying, like... But are you promoting a podcast <gasps> with him? Unbelievable. Can we I'm play just saying one more I'm promo- round? I'm, promoting, I'm trying to... But I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do Can we play one more round? Yeah. It's, Not it's, yet. It's going to be easy. Not yet. Everyone we mentioned names. him already. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh. but, but when... Okay. It was a guess. <gasps> Borderline Hall of Famer. And I mentioned him? Or we somebody mentioned did? him. Cecil Someone Fielder. at this ta- table. Cecil Fielder. It's not Cecil. Ooh. It's Cecil. Wrong color. Oh, Skin. white guy? Okay, so he's white? Lenny Let's Dykstra. See. Nope. Lenny Clark. Doug Drabeck. Nope. White guy. Yep. From 1991. Might even be a Hall of Famer. Ooh. I think he is a Hall of Famer, actually. He is a Hall of Famer, I think. Infield or outfield? Played for two very... Distinct teams played a lot for one and won a World Series with a no, no, got to the World Series with a no. Mark Grace. No, you, Don Mattingly. We mentioned him though. Remember the names we mentioned. Well, I'm Infielder. Right now. Infielder. Not Don Mattingly. Shortstop. No. Ro- Roberto Alomar. No, but we are much, much in the right area now. We are there. Ozzy Smith. No, we are in the right position. Omar Vizquel. No. no. Ozzy Guillen. Sorry, wrong position. I thought you were talking about <laughs> Sandy Alomar, the that. catcher. Catcher. Oh. Benito Santiago. Catcher. Hall of Famer. Rodriguez. White. Ivan. Piazza? My, God damn it, Aaron. What do you say? Carlton Fisk. He got it. Yes. Oh. Pulled that one out of the middle. I had to do it. What are the odds? What are the odds? That's okay. the name of my podcast. Enclosure. How many cards are in there? Enclosure. Nine Eric, hundred? I'm not coming down on you. I'm not coming down on you. I'm just saying I know you. And then when you said that... Somebody, you got to look out for yourself. But the way you say that, it's very negative. Like, it's a very negative way. I know you. Like, I know you're going to do this. You're not Jewish. Right. I actually am Jewish, too. It's weird. But, Eric, no. Stop putting, again, I do know you. I'm sorry. I've seen you. I've seen your, I know how you are. So I'm just. I'm willing to help you at all costs. I'm not I'm denying to, that. I'm, I'm just saying. A, I'm just saying. If you're gonna put a photo up of the podcast, if it's a freaking three-hour podcast and you're on it for ten minutes, you'll promote the podcast, but with your photo on. You're it. right. You'll never promote the podcast without, without my your photo. photo. You're right. And I'm asking why. Because it's my page. I'm promoting myself. See me, me, me. That's my page. So, so social media is not. I'm not there to put my political beliefs or anything. Like that. I'm there to promote my that's comedy. All I do. So that's all you my, are. I'm promoting my comedy. Yeah, on on the as a person, you don't have to worry about that. As a person on social media, I'm promoting myself. I'm not, I'm not like sitting there trying to. Oh, I had a bad day. I'm gonna go write it on social media. That's not my person. I'm just that's just a social media. All I know is you have a track record of if, promoting of, myself. Of, Yes. That's exactly what I'm doing, Brody. I'm trying to I'm trying to promote myself. That's, so maybe oh. one time, maybe one time, you promote something. And maybe you're not on it, possibly. You're just promoting it or you're saying... That's why I retweet on Twitter. That's what, that's what Twitter's for. I use Twitter for that. I don't know. All, all I know is I, I go on the road with Spade. How many photos do I take with Spade? Two, maybe. But you're not promoting a podcast. You're not promoting a show. More. I'm promoting a show. I'm trying to get more fans. Check me out. I'm on the road with David Spade. You think I'm putting photos up all the time? You should. Someone just send me dick pics. 
Really? Yeah, because I ask people to slide them ideas. But then, but then, but then <laughs> Eric, you start saying like, you start saying you got to promote your sh- your show, and it's all about you. I don't think that's the right edit. I don't think that's right. That's well, that's not. And I'm not saying I'm I'm. Ma- can mom and dad figure this out after we get out of here? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's four oh three. I was is? contracted to four o'clock. Oh, look at this guy, Mister Professional. Sag is this a sag? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I filled out paperwork. <laughs> all right, I, listen. I want a W two. We'll wrap it up. It was lively. It was good. Yeah. I think. Do you? I think it went a little bit off the rails, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay. You know, but that that's what I opened myself up to when I said, let's book more guests and sure. turn this into something out of my comfort who zone. Who knows where the conversation's going to lead. And I do get out of my comfort zone when I have a guest on who says, I'm being negative. Like Eric just said, I'm negative. You said that, right? Let's not. No, you said something negative towards me. And then because you 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 no the way you, you the way you say but that's it is very in negative. you that's that's all on you that's not me I've seen your I, I know how you are you like to see put, that that right there that saying that is it's very negative but I that's know how no, no. first base it's not very negative it's very Will ac- Clark no Damn it's it. good it's, job. It's there very go, accurate. It's very easy, though. I gave you every... All I guarantee That's all you need. <laughs> 1991. Again, I know how this is. Jack Morris. So, Eric, let's see you put a... I'm not saying put the photo up. <laughs> I'm just saying let's see you promote it, maybe without a picture. Whoa. Check every Wednesday, That's a good, that's a good shot right there. I'll get What's going. the odds with Thank Steve Renn is easy? I'll it get does... you guys out of here. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I'm glad. You should oh, be. No, Steve no, Renazizi, no. great job. You can Thank see you. Steve on his podcast, his tours, his email. What At do you want to say? SteveRenazizi.com for tour dates. I'm going out in January to Portland, 10th through 12th. Denver the weekend after that. Then just for laughs, uh, Vancouver. I didn't get that. Well, that's... Why? I I don't I don't know. I'm playing. But I, okay. I'm happy you but I'll be I saw there. that. That's Steve Renazizi. Dan Madonia. Yeah, I'm everywhere. Monday nights, we're in the playoffs right now. I'm the commissioner of the Los Angeles Comedy Basketball League. Come out. You got it. Eric, what do you got going on? Uh, you can catch me on Instagram putting up pictures of this podcast with me in it. Um, <laughs> nothing else, really. And then what about you, Brody? Where, where could people find you or, or reach you? Uh, Brody is my friend on Twitter, Instagram, and... Uh, that kind of stuff. Kind of like disappointed in Eric right now. Okay. Valley vibes. You're I don't want to. I don't want to. in the main room. I don't want to. I don't want to promote it right now. We're I'd rather end. just focus on tomorrow's gig. Because okay. I, I don't. I don't think that's. Thank you again, I just Marlene. Don't, I don't think it's. You know, you think people are like stepping over you. I'm not stepping over I you. Come, I come. I've done three. All right, we'll talk about it later. But no, I know. I can talk about it now. There, you got two guests that are sitting here that don't. They don't. Don't. Are you speaking for them? They just spoke for themselves, Steve. Don't so speak wanna... for Dan. Don't speak for Steve. That's your problem, Eric. You're speaking for these guys. Look what I just pulled out. And you're Lenny Dykstra. There you go. There he is. Nails. So I don't think that. And I'm telling you, you can think that way. I just, I don't want to be involved it's in that thinking. Case. You can think, Eric, that people or want to do it their own way and they'll bulldoze you and that's it and you got to stick up for yourself you can think that way i don't necessarily and you're gonna we're gonna have to find a happy ground on that okay so you know and i do appreciate what you're doing i you totally show that except for right now you show that what do you mean well, you're coming down on me. And you keep saying that. You have a problem with putting thoughts in my, say, putting you're words in my doing, mouth. We can go back and watch the tape. You're doing it. Doing what? You're bringing me down on a podcast. No, you're allowing you're to like, be brought down. You're like down. chipping away at me, and it's like, who cares? Nobody nobody cares to see somebody being chipped away at. Don't speak for them, I guarantee I'm talking you. about everyone in general. Nobody who? likes that, to see somebody get chipped away at completely. Don't, what make, year was Eric, I born? don't make it like you're the freaking victim here. Oh, wow, that's What's pretty cool. What's the piece of trivia for yeah. that? A lot about Reggie Jackson. Well, there you go. There's Aligny. It's his podcast. Go ahead and promote it. Eric Aligny. See him on the Brody Stevens Festival of Sports podcast. He's right in the fucking center every week. Because if I don't do it, some it's like he's got to do it because I'm that guy who will just bulldoze over people. Right? I'm a bulldoze guy? No. I'm a bulldoze guy. No, I didn't say that. Well, that's the way I take it. That's get, what you say to me. That's the way you t- I take it that you said I'm a bulldozer. I guy. could do this at home. 
Like you don't have to have me in podcast. I don't have to be taking the pictures. I could do this at home. I could set up the guest for you. Oh, you can? Yes. Oh, I don't good. have to be here. You told me to come in here and you, you asked me. I didn't to say come. to come in today. You say, <laughs> either way, I'm I'm happy with staying home. I don't have to I don't have to come to get what are you going to do? Shit on and no, to get start shit your on. negative talking no, again? No, it's not. You're the one negative talking <laughs> you're negative. to me. You're negative. Don't put your fucking negative thoughts in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Brody, I think you definitely are better off. Not <laughs> having this. That's why maybe I, I, I like Eric in a producing role. He comes up here and shifts the energy and makes it about him and starts saying, you're saying negative stuff about but me. Nobody, F you. We didn't even take a picture yet. Yeah. There wasn't even, it didn't even happen. You created oh, a I guarantee thing. you he took a picture. I took a picture already. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but he's supposed to. Take so it. I, I took a picture so we could put a uh, post no, for the live it? podcast. We, ha we Eric, have you're passive aggressive. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you are. And you admitted it. Meaning that. I don't know if he admitted. Pa if, I you watch, it, I <laughs> if you watch all the, the podcasts that are working right now that are getting followers, that are, it's, they're posting instantly when they're going live. They're posting constantly. I told you this already. You need to post more about your podcast. If you want to get numbers, that's what you do. I'm trying to help. I'm putting your name out there. I'm putting a link to your, your podcast up to 1,000 people on my Instagram and then 2,000 people on my Facebook and then 1,000 uh, more on my I know you Twitter. Are. It's not, I have a small following, but I'm giving you every piece of them. And so what if I put my picture in it? That at least gives them a little piece of me. It's retarded. I don't mind. I don't mind that you're in the photos. But what? I, <laughs> Wait, that's that was, how we started. It's all about that. Yeah, that was I got to go home, dude. I got to yeah, eat dinner. Oh, see, it's all about, here. okay. Well, well okay. I mean, two hours, bro. <laughs> we pre potted for 50 fucking Rogan 40 minutes. Rogan does three hours. Yeah, well, that's but he I, also, he also has 400 million people listening how to it. How dare and you? he provides marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> that, that helps. That oh, he does? Get three yeah. Hours. yeah. I gave you a half a donut. That oh. is true. <laughs> I did eat half a donut. Fuck, bro. I did get half a donut. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Yes.